Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons! Before we get into tonight's episode, we do. It looks really have... good on you, man. Uh, thank you. Occasionally, I put a collar on. on. It does. It's, it's a nice. color. Uh, Thanks. He's all sorry. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Keep Don't complimenting him. Before no, stop. The moon. I know, I know. Before we get into our episode tonight, we oh, have some announcements. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Beginning with our sponsor, NordVPN. Woo! Sam, why why are you dressed so fancy? It's Oscar season, Matt. <laughs> So it's time once again for our own awards show, the Academy Awards. Maestro? Oh Thank you. Ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, it's the internet's night to shine as the stars are out <laughs> to celebrate NordVPN's Academy Awards. And here's your host, Sam Regal. Hello, <laughs> hi, thank you. As we know, NordVPN <laughs> provides amazing encryption for your internet traffic and hides your IP and physical location. Here to present the first award is Mr. Mom's own Talis and Jaffe, joined by Art Dad, Liam O'Brien. <laughs> Liam, you're looking stunning tonight, and I'm not just saying that because it's on the teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Tal. Uh, mm. And I am saying that because of the prompter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all kidding aside, uh, the nominees for easiest to use VPN that's available on Windows, iOS, Android, and Linux are Angela Bassett, <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> Uh, Greta Gerwig and uh, NordVPN. Mm. Mm. All good choices. I'm so nervous. <laughs> and the Academy of Nord goes to NordVPN. Oh! This is NordVPN's 14th straight easiest to use a Nord, excepting on behalf of NordVPN is Marisha Ray. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We did it, baby. I'm looking at you. With one simple click, it's easy to get high speed and protection. Thank you to the Nord Academy, my co-star Tom Holland, and um, co-star. Oh wait, it already said co-star Tom Holland. I'm so nervous. And of course, <laughs> my kids, Nordy and VP Anna. <laughs> Mommy's bringing home a present tonight. This is for you. Oh, amazing, amazing. Now, please welcome to present the next award, BAFTA winning actress Laura Bailey and oversized sweater enthusiast Ashley Johnson. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Ashley, one thing NordVPN does so well is encourage good cyber hygiene. Using unique and complex passwords, backing up your data, and updating your software to prevent cyber attacks and data breaches. Why do you use NordVPN? I am so sorry, Laura, you lost me at hygiene. <laughs> 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 the nominees for best exclusive NordVPN deal are NordVPN, La La Land, <laughs> and Moonlight. Oh, let me back. And the winner <laughs> of the Nord That's right. Award. <laughs> Are we calling it again? Yes. <laughs> Moonlight! Oh. oh! What? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize there was the wrong envelope. I'm so sorry. The winner is. NordVPN! <laughs> Here to accept on NordVPN's behalf is Sam Raga. <laughs> this one's for you, Grandpa Nordy. Who would have thought that so this long. tiny indie international VPN company with over 6,000 servers could win such a huge award? Just proves you can accomplish anything with a dream and a monthly subscription. Grab yours at nordvpn.com slash critical role and get an extra four months. Try it risk free now with a 30 day money back guarantee. Is that paper? It, this yes, is paper. Yes, really Thanks to my agents, yeah. Fox Searchlight Pictures, and of course NordVPN for sponsoring the show. Matt, back to you. Fox. Oh, Fox Searchlight yeah. Pictures. Yeah. You gotta throw. You gotta. You've always gotta. Yeah. Throwing it back. You to gotta. The wow. These are good. Wow. 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 Top of that was man. so long. <laughs> that, that went on forever. It was really this was like a real Academy oh, Award yeah. show. Yeah. 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 So great. well done. Yeah. 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 Good job. <gasps> Well, uh, <laughs> from there, as you may have seen, we have some exciting updates to share around Darrington Press's upcoming Woo! high fantasy RPG, 
Dagger Heart. Uh, in case you missed it, uh, our global open beta playtest period begins next week on our ninth anniversary, March 12th. So all of you will have a chance to dive into the materials and help us all shape the game while it's still in development through your valuable feedback ahead of its release in 2025. Uh, we'll also be dropping a ton of video content and resources so that you all can get playing right away, including a quick 101 of the system of Daggerheart, a session zero example, and even a live one shot with all of us here at the table later that same evening to show you how uh, we hope it's done, and then you can uh, just destroy it all from there. And it, 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 look, <laughs> it's important that we build this game with you and not just for you. We want you to try and break this thing end to end. Tell us about it. The more people who get to play the game, the better that we get to make it. So please keep an eye out next week for more information on how to sign up across all of our socials uh, and at DarringtonPress.com. Darrington yes. Very exciting. Daggerheart. <laughs> Daggerheart. I'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll, we'll find it. How about this thing? We've got time. The first episode of Candela huh? Obscura, The uh. Circle of what? What, Sam? Doesn't he have to throw to you? Do I have to wait for permission? Jim! 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 The first episode of Candela Obscura, <laughs> The Circle of the Crimson Mirror premiered last week. Join investigators so Talison Jaffe, <laughs> Amy Carrero, <laughs> Alex Ward, <laughs> and Amari <laughs> Williams <laughs> as Game Master Liam O'Brien. Guides them through a harrowing journey on the edge of survival. Uh, Liam, you've really crushed it. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You did so yes. good. Now I will turn pink. Yeah. Uh, we are also back with Foresight to Dive this month, and the latest episode can be found on our Twitch and YouTube channels as well. So, yeah, we're back. All right. Hey. Back, baby! Hey, back, baby! Uh, Laura, you got Yes. Please? Now, throw to me thank you very much. Um, <laughs> guess what we have? We have uh, something gestures. from the Bell's House Collection. Oh, oh, it almost fell. But it is. Oh, okay. Yes. In case you can't tell, this is a really awesome kimono duster. It's the Fern Callaway Duster Kimono. It's so cool. Oh, oh, it's the real graphics cool. are by Savannah Mayer. It's available in all of our stores. You you want to try it on? Yeah, I'll put it on. I mean, not I that you haven't tried this. it on before, but. I've been wearing mine all the time. I love it. It's like, clean. You can it's make so it, cool. you can hang it home, you or you can dress it, it up. Yeah, you can yeah. dress it up, you can dress it down. Ashley wore it, you put on like a harness My with harness it, harness and it looks it. so freaking cool. Look at how cute it is. Anyway, it's very cute. check it out. I love it. Wink. In addition to that, <laughs> we also have. <laughs> it's a fantastic kind of a day. It is. A Fern Calloway oh, oh, wow. so I love it. Oh, I know. Wow. It's That's a little wrinkly because I had. I've been sitting on it. It's soft. <laughs> <laughs> but it's by, warm. Art is by Alexa <laughs> Rockman. Every T-shirt sat on by Laura yes. Bailey. Oh no! Oh, no, we're not making that. I'll buy it. I'll buy them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's available in the U.S., the U.K., the EU, and. The CA. The CA. Is that Canada? Yeah. No. Oh, I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how do I shorten that one? Canadian. Is it just can't CA? That's the one. Uh, huh. I'm done. I just want to say, <laughs> what? for like any of our clearance merch, like stuff that we need to move, we could do a live stream where we're just like moving shirts through you and you just sit on them all. Yeah, we, we roll on them. <laughs> we just roll yeah, on them. Yeah, everything is content. Oh, yeah, I'm we, like, just saying. On our I bet it would work. Shake yep. a little tail, move some merch. Yeah. We can do a little jig on some merch. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Please edit that out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye. Liam, you got enough. Yeah, let's talk about books instead of that. Um, <laughs> Our next official Critical Role novel, What Doesn't Break, is coming in October, the perfect month! This prequel. <laughs> Dives into the unexplored years before Ladna joins up with Bell's Hales. Ooh, well, mm -hmm. It is written by best-selling author Cassandra Kaw, with yeah. cover designed by Matt Hubble, and an audiobook version narrated by the one and only Harabi Day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So silky smooth, you can pre-order your copy now, unlike me, at criticalrollbooks.com to celebrate. There's one more piece to this. Our friends at Random House Worlds are running a sweepstake over on criticalrollbooks.com. Oh, you can enter. 
for a chance to win a copy of the book and some extra laudna goodies from the Crit Roll shop. Ooh, nice. Mm-hmm. What kind of goodies? Dead rats. <laughs> <laughs> Love a good story. That Marisha has sat on. <laughs> a lot of them tied in. Uh, they were alive. <laughs> I meant she said. Oh. Y'all, if Amaranth can sell farts in a jar. Oh my yes. God. No, why? We can sell sat it on t shirts. Oh, gross. I'm loving where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley I'm gets it. That kimono just really. makes you so into everything. <laughs> they all sold out. Ashley bought them all. <laughs> <laughs> What oh, oh yeah, no, oh. thank you, before oh, you, no. look, oh, yeah. I was oh, wondering so when that was coming. I'm so good at right the announcements. Oh, it's awesome. beautiful. Iconic dead woman. Look at the shadow. Look at the back, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that actually would be a really cool tattoo. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I've been debating a pate yeah. tattoo. That would be the one. We could all get one. Dang it. Yeah, I'll take my pate would be such a good tattoo. Oh, I know, I've seen some cute ones out in the wild. They're, they're always super cute. We still have to get a group tattoo. We too. I know. We're behind on it. I know. Right? We'll, talk after, we'll talk after the yes, day's yes. game. Have you guys ever seen grocery we store sweepstakes? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like where Tell you would run through it? We're about oh, to yeah. play a oh, game! Yeah. Sorry, I just was thinking about it and I had to say it out loud. I'm no, sorry. I appreciate that, Ashley. Go to the beef, Wait, but go to what beef and like I cleaning the supplies. The is it a well, tattoo pitch? No, because we said sweepstakes and then my brain was thinking about it. I believe that concludes our announcements. Thank you. So let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. the top two by two we fall will we beat our end or meet our destiny hold your breath and roll how do you want to do this it's thursday night all ye critters come join us it's time to continue our flight there is magic and mystery who knows what will happen he might For sure, we never give up on the fight. From the healer to the renegade, we all share the same goal. Adding more allies, taking more chances. Hold your breath and roll. You certainly try. It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our play. From darkness our friendship will rise But one thing's for sure We never give up on the fight Oh, get ready It's Thursday night And welcome back. So, last we left off, Bell's Hells, upon arriving here on the Red Moon Ruidus, you found a handful of allies and tidbits of information that promised the existence of the Volition. The, uh, having issues over here? She's, I, she's sniffing, she's had, spying on everybody else's I had, stats. I pulled up D&D Beyond and gave me fresh cut grasses, and like then the I reloaded shape. it, and now I have ferns. Fern. So again. I don't know. Well, if you keep reloading, it'll eventually get there. I think it's yeah. a oh, there's me. Random character generator. <laughs> Fuck, it's fine. I got it. We're got cool. It. We're cool. We're good. 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 Immersed. There are uh, rumors of a group called the Volition. That is a, a rebellious troop, a network that's been working against the Cravirus Imperium. Uh, you've been seeking out allies, made a few, discovered a few enemies, had a brief run-in with Odohan Thule, and escaped before heading into the nearby subterranean regions of the moon. You found within there an odd ancient portal that leads to a portion of Exandria below, and also the lake in which it resides, some sort of a shattered entity that tried to drag you to a watery grave. Managing to battle that away and return to the moon propter after leaving some messages to uh, the voice of the Tempest, you trudged back to the surface and began to walk on foot after a night's rest through the storms as they come and go until eventually some of the storm begins to break ahead and you can see the cleft 
valley of a mountain range above and ahead of you, where you can see the signs of the capital city, Creviris, before you. So, as we jump in, you have a, a little bit of travel still before you reach the city. The means of uh, arrival, uh, of course, is up to you. Um, but for the remaining leg of your journey, I need someone to go ahead and roll a d20 for me. I think Talison went it last. Off on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I yeah, no, I, I did. <coughs> yeah, I was last. <clears throat> you know why? Because it was awesome. <laughs> I kind of like that confidence. <laughs> Six. Nothing's changed since last game. Rolling great. Rolling great. Is that the Lama die? No. It's just time for a full purge. I'm going to re up, by the way. I'm just going to major armor myself. Go for it. Are From the six. Are you going to, you the to brief something? break mm -hmm. in the medium powered dust storm is short lived as the heavy winds begin to swallow your vision of the city ahead until eventually, not far beyond your visual range, you can't see more than maybe 30 feet ahead of you. You can hear the heavy wind blowing by. You have to cover your mouth. You have to cover your eyes best you can as you all push forward in what you hope is the direction that you had originally saw before it was taken from you. Uh, because we're this close uh, and because you're on the surface here, I'm going to have everyone roll uh, a group stealth check for me, please. I pass without a trace. <laughs> I was going to say, actually, I can take pass without a trace oh, if we're yeah? going through here. Yes, please. Okay. I would have done it anyway. And we're in a fuck. storm trying to oh, hide. Wait, so you're from... casting it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Save your spells. Oh, <laughs> like, much <laughs> fuck. I feel like if I give it a nice spin, that maybe it won't fuck me. But you it's not. Yep. Okay. Thank God. Zoom. I have some advantage. Can we see the city anymore? <laughs> Zoom. No, the, the, the dust storm has swallowed that visual. Good, right. All right, off to the side here. 36. All right. 27. 15. 18. Okay. 17. 22. 22. Okay. Continuing to push forward for the better part of the next hour or so, doing your best to stay low to the ground, you cast your spell to keep the shadows near and the sound itself muffled as much as needed over the resurging anger of the dust storm around you. Now the challenge with Pass Out a Trace is it darkens shadows and muffles sound, but it doesn't hide all senses. There's a brief period where you're stepping past the somewhat broken, rocky topography in the direction where you've been pushing, uh, and past a like kind of pseudo cliff face and some other outcroppings. You feel a, a faint rumble. What do you quack, do? Quack, quack. Freeze! Yeah, Tremors. Tremors roll. Freeze. And we're in a, in a, a rocky outcropping now or near one? Oh, there's just like rocky parts of broken terrain. There's rocky, along. there's like rock coming out of the ground? There's, you know, protrusions and, you know, risen sections of platform. This but is like Tremors, should we get to the rock or stand on the, the ground? A good question would be how far is the rock? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the question. About 20, 25 feet from where you guys are currently. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can we fly? Hands in the air if you want to run for the rock. Oh, really? We're all balls? Yeah, okay. let's run. Let's run for the rock. rock. I'm going to sympathetically three. bond with one, two, three, four. Hot. Okay. Oh. I'm the slowest, but okay. Well, I'm, shit. Yeah. Are you still? I'm fucked. I yeah. thought you have a 40 foot running speed, don't Not you? Not anymore. Oh, because he's exhausted. <gasps> I have disadvantage on ability checks and okay, I have okay, okay, 20 foot. One, two, yeah, three, yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. No, you're just, Are you just, there's I'm, no method to any of that. It's insane. A dire wolf, I think, holding Ashton. Can I right. only do this yeah. to myself? So you all go and bolt for the nearest rock. <laughs> you all go into a sprint, kind of kicking off dust as you go, pushing through the storm to where you recall it was, and you can just see the basic line of dark shadow outline of where it still stands amidst the swirling of wind and dust around you. God, I hope a candy rock. You all dart and clamber onto it. And you stop and look back. Total free. Nothing. Okay. No, I know we haven't come across a Bane worm yet, but yeah. it feels like that was the start it's of Bane. the one, right? It's Baney. Yeah. 
A Blaine, a David Blaine worm. Do you hear any rumbles? Do you see the ground shaking at all? Make a perception check for me. Disadvantage in the dust storm. Ah, blah, blah, blah. I got a 28. I got a nine. Okay. 28. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not seeing much out there, unfortunately, Imogen. Um, but you glancing past, it's less what you see. At first, it's what you hear. You hear a, through the dust storm a little. And you see this tiny little movement in the dust, like something kind of like, like a. Like a creature is like emerging from the dust and kind of kicking up a little bit in the storm. It's definitely Dog. Can I? Um, can I? Since I'm still a dire wolf, can I use? You're a dire wolf. Still, you are. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Can I use a um, keen hearing and smell and see if I can like? Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and roll a perception check. Uh, I using like your like perception. It. Oh, that's right. But you do not have disadvantage because uh, it gives you advantage. So it's just a straight roll. It's a, it's a straight roll. Okay. Oh god. So hot, little guy. Cacked. Damn. I know. I know. Okay. Perception. Uh, twenty-three. Ooh, twenty-three. Okay. You pick up on this as well. You hear the sound. And you kind of glance over and can see this like movement in the dust. Kind of kicks up a little bit. And then kind of like, you see this like, almost like a like a tadpole. It looks like kind of a like a basketball sized tadpole thing that just kind of plops out and starts like, like rubbing on its back in the dust and kicking up this little dust storm kind of on itself there. <laughs> yeah, it's an anglerfish. Tadpole is in we... mm -hmm. smooth, or is it furry? With my twenty-seven it's, perception, it, you can see it, it has like oh, some yeah, has some like a little bit of furred texture at the edges, and then some like scale elements like. Scale. You can see, like, it definitely has a. Basically, how it emerged, it looks like it has a, you know, burrowing locomotion. But it's a big maggot. Who's got uh, something they can throw at it? I can talk to it. Why you won't do that? I'm gonna. Oh, oh, I have an idea. Um, can I use? Uh, can I use catapult? Are there any rocks around? Oh, there's plenty of rocks around you. They're, they're the whole. Everything the is rocks. No, 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 no. I know. <laughs> I want to do a catapult, a rock that's like. Sixty feet away from me, okay. and like that way, and send it over and hit it onto the tadpole. Nice, onto the tadpole. Well, next to the tadpole. <gasps> okay, you go ahead and send it off into the storm. The wind kind of blowing against it, but the rock has enough strength behind it where it carves over it a slight, you know, arc to it. It hits the ground, and the creature kind of like and like digs back under the ground. When Do you it, remember? When it jumped and flopped, was there space between the ground and where it jumped? Uh, it, it, it arced like a few feet in the air before oh. it like hit the ground and kind of like and kind of was like rubbing on the ground, kind of getting itself all dusty. <laughs> Do you remember <laughs> that fairy that we saw? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, it's an yeah. 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 It's fake. Yes, yes, it was a lure. I'm getting that vibe. Yeah, yes. but then what if it's actually just an innocent little creature and we're all convinced it's a lure? Six tons smush the chinchilla. And now a uh, bane worm is going to eat the teeny little cutie grub. Better him than us. Circle of life. I'm going to cast uh, <laughs> speak with animals using my communicator's gift, and I will I will sort of whisper shout, "Hey, you cutie little cutie, are you hurt? Are you okay?" As you whisper shout, the as the creature's going <laughs> into the ground, kind of like. You watch kind of Bugs Bunny burrowing, like the ground kind of like <laughs> leaves a little path as it goes around in a circle before it breaks a little bit. And you can see like this one little central eye that kind of opens in the top of its smooth head. It kind of goes. <laughs> it doesn't speak, which leads you to believe it's probably not an animal necessarily or a beast. I communicate, I, I convey this to my friends. But it's over it's, here staring oh, at us. Oh now, shit, right? and now it's, it's in the direction, yeah. It's, it's probably about like 15 feet away. Symbiotic. What if all the creatures here have like symbiotic relationships with another one? Psychic. Or, or could, yeah, it could be like a periscope thing, too. Like, or it Shit could be one sense. of a hundred babies. It could have a lot of siblings. The fact is, they can't talk is disturbing. I'm keeping an eye on this shit. Okay, why don't we just prepare attacks? Yeah. And just go get it. Nice. Or we could just walk sit away. on this rock and walk wait. away. What do you mean? I think For the second we step on sand, we get just eaten by Bane. More than three minutes. Yeah, it's gonna pass. It's gonna pass. It'll pass. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. What if it, it's like a polar bear and it never sees food, so it is as it just, patient as the chill. day is long. <laughs> it will be here as long as we are. Well, 
That's Do you know a that? See a polar bear from two miles, it won't stop till it comes to each area. Ford? How kind of animal could you be in a fight? Yeah. <laughs> a poodle? <laughs> I agree. Let's just wait a few more minutes. It's Let's not provoke. It's a bane worm. It's as big as an arena. And it doesn't matter if you throw a ball bearing 80 feet away, it's gonna run us down. What's on the other side of these rocks? Maybe we can like climb over and... Oh, what is it looking it's at? still looking at it. Should we give it like food or something? Hey, hey, uh -oh. do we still have a body? We are. Oh, we do. We have a head. Should we throw out a body? Throw the body out on the ground. Throw the body on the ground. We can't. Throw, throw, throw the bodies on the ground. Throw the bodies. Put the bodies on the Okay, we're gonna we'll start to tossing body parts. It's a chunk of an arm. I'm not wasting yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Is it Mundo or somebody this, else? No, it's been not a lot of bodies Mundo. in there. No, it's not the hole. It's it the, the bag of holding. holding. It's the berserker guy. Yeah. We have dead bodies in all of our yeah. bags. Yeah. Listen, some things <laughs> are constantly through what the campaign. This is a perfect example of how this is usually. You never know what you're going to It's not straw true. material yet. It hasn't even been a day. Berserker. It does smell a little on the inside. Throw the, yeah. Throw the meat, Chet. So you're throwing an arm over there? A elbow to a hand. Okay. It rose beneath. It didn't take it. Did it take it with? No, it like it threw it over and it kind of broke beneath. It's yeah. forming its superior. Yeah. Oh! You watch as about close to ten of these creatures suddenly start <laughs> like feeding frenzy. You watch the arm get like pulled apart and tossed, and before they catch the final bits, and they kind of wrestle and argue over it before they all eventually separate and. Dust off and then vanish Sand beneath the surface. Well, that was God. <laughs> that's really that's what? The what? How do we get off this rock then? It. What if there's just like so many more of them? Yeah, can, can we can, how many body parts do we have? Maybe we could just lava. throw a bunch and then run the other way. Book it. Yeah. Who has big like area of effect stuff oh, like cone of cold or stuff? That would be good. Just can, calling it out I, there. I have Let's go. How <laughs> long does telekinesis last? Last. <laughs> Delicanesis oh, can last uh, up to ten minutes. It's gonna be a good night. Oh. Can you just, but Professor X, us and like, we levitate this rock that we're on, and we all just go rock zooming away. Oh God, a wild zooming. idea! It's like yeah, rock sledding. Well, shut that the is fuck actually up. a it's really a great idea. <laughs> Wait, I what mean, are we doing? Thank you. We're becoming rocks. Yes. Is that I'm a gonna thing? cast. That is a fucking awesome That's idea. Really idea. I'm gonna cast telekinesis. Okay. Oh, never mind. That's the okay. Right there. <laughs> I was. And I'm you. gonna, the rock that we're sitting on, this boulder. I'm yeah. just gonna like focus everything that I can and try to raise this boulder up into the ground. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I swear. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> hold on. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an extra d6. I don't know. Is this a roll that you no, have to do? But thank you. I'll take I'm giving you a d6. Now you can move an object that's up to a thousand pounds in weight. Damn. Yes. Well. So, how many people are on this rock, and how mm. big is the rock? I'm on there, but. But we're know. all little. Like, think about how all many teeny people, people we have. What, like, four, five. Well, he's probably pretty heavy. We're how probably much? Five fifty together. Like so one, one seventy-five, something like that. I would say out of with a because it's not stone all the way through, so it's probably like one ninety to two hundred. Well, yeah, two hundred at least. Is letters lightweight? Like alloy or, or super heavy? I think it's been. Just, I've been described as yeah, when yeah. furnace I carried thought it was me. Like I've been able to carry it. Yeah. Yeah. A little foamy, yeah. yeah. but also the pounds? solid glass. Yeah, it's yeah. Blonde is hundred pounds of wet. Quarter of a ton. You weigh a quarter of a ton. One hundred fifty pounds. That is not a quarter. That's of a, a ton. that's an eighth of a ton. Eighth of a ton. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Math. Math. <laughs> and then all the rest of us are pretty light because. That teeny flame tapped in my head. I'll say. I weigh 600 pounds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll say it's possible, okay. but it'll be a series of of checks to maintain your magical Oops. will. All right. To coast. Okay. Guidance. Guidance. Can I, can I do guidance? <coughs> well, no, no, well, you can turn back from the. Your dire wolf, wolf form, form is pretty heavy. Oh, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> Orm is gonna. Yeah. Orm's gonna sit crisscross oh, right, applesauce yeah, 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 yeah. on the right, stone right. with his blade in his lap and just wait until the mayhem begins. I'm. Yeah. I'm on the other side of it, waiting <laughs> no for the mayhem, mayhem as well. Is, I'm gonna I'm use gonna... my propeller arm to just take like a couple pounds off. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. Just negate your weight. Uh -huh. All right. Just 
barely to the As you all kind of cluster up in this one section of the rock, you kind of use your mind to reach into it and find where the elements of shale that surround the base of you are most uh, capable of being pierced and pulled away from the, the main portion of the rock around you. It takes a few minutes of concentration to kind of get your mind kind of dug in there like wedges and then right. <laughs> pull it free. You feel it kind of shift and lift up and as it does, you, you feel like the faint cracking of it in places. It holds, but this is fragile stone. You don't want to rock it too much, but you do indeed all feel your troop kind of lift up. <laughs> wow. This is cool. I'm just gonna float it the direction that we want to go. Okay. Reserving my opinion for the end. It begins to shift out into the storm. And as the wind's buffeting it now, you can feel it kind of like almost rock a little bit as it moves. Oh, right, there's a storm. But you continue to push forward. What about those little creatures? Are they. Uh, Should we throw some body parts the other yeah, way? Yeah, like throw them <clears throat> away <throat> from us, away from us. Who's got, out, who's got other? I get out the other quarter arm, but I will go to work on some digits so I get a little like Sea World offerings. Yeah. Mm. But we don't want them to follow <laughs> us as a trail. A <laughs> trail. Well, oh, don't make a don't make a trail of breadcrumbs. We don't want to feed the I ducks. Thought you said something. I thought you said come trail. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> was Chem I always trail? on? Come trail. Uh, <laughs> Y'all. All right. Different. Carry on. <laughs> that is different. Yeah, but it needs to be <laughs> chucked far away. Who's got a good arm? I do. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm throwing them far. Dude. <laughs> I can't do like a, a baseball situation. Ooh, it's oh, it's fine. Shoot it out of the park. They're fingers. Um, <laughs> no, I like that idea. It's picked up in the wind. It's an option. It'll just be a spray. Oh. <laughs> They're right back to us. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, is the wind blowing against us or is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's blowing kind of towards and off to the side, so as Chet throws it, it kind of like. Oh, go with the wind, Chet. Go with the wind. The hot dogs. It's going into the wind and it's coming back. But if he bashes it real hard, it can go farther. This thing is literally shaped splatter. like a meat tenderizer. It's just going to turn it into, a, gonna into a spray. I think it's going to work. Just for the visual. Are you ready? So Fine. <laughs> Wham! Now, the momentum of having to shift your weight and swing at this oh, does kind of cause the rock to slightly tilt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, could you roll a d20 and add your charisma modifier to it for me, Laura? Guidance! Mm. Our fates? Our fates? No, have guidance on this. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That was good. That was good. 29! 29. No, wait, that's the saving throw. 24! 24 is great. Right. You hold it together and keep it right as you poof, hit the finger. I think we're okay to just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't like these things. Well, this lasts for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's not that long. So we continue so to push really forward. really focused, can I speed myself up? <laughs> so you're on the cusp of the spell's ability, so you're cruising <laughs> at a steady, normal pace. Okay. Uh, oh, it can move 30 feet in any direction per round. So you're moving okay. 30 feet. 30 feet, 30 feet, 30 feet at a time. I'm just, just gusting, some... perpetually gusting, knowing it's doing nothing. <laughs> but hey, it all helps in some small way. Yeah. But it continues to push on Ooh. until the, you're far enough away where you cannot see the outline of the rock where you have re briefly hidden. Uh, two minutes, three minutes of pushing on, you're getting in some fair distance on this. Occasionally, like, begins to pick up a wind, kind of hits it underneath, and it starts to sailboat a little bit to one side. Uh, make another d20 roll. With plus five, or plus your charisma, I think it's five. Nineteen. Nineteen. You keep it. Oh wait, it, no, twenty. Twenty. You keep it held, and eventually, kind of right it a bit, overcorrects a little bit, and you all kind of pucker, and then it eventually get it right back to a standard setting and continue to push forward. Yeah, such a good job, but maybe we should try and land gently, just in case something goes wrong, because a hard landing would kind you're of right, be like right. the dinger Can bell. I set us? Down once I feel like we're. I got like a minute left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. All right. So you're now, I'd say you have about six minutes left of the spell. Okay. For every two minutes, you're going to roll. Okay, great. So now we go six minutes into it, four minutes left. The wind's still buffeting it. Roll another d20 for me. Ooh. You got a d6? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't going to do much. It better. Ooh. Nine. 
Nine. She rolled a two. That's good. That was the, enough. The DC on this has been ten each time. It's oh, not been a hard wow. DC. Oh, gosh. I like you know extremes. But that's Wait, but okay. You also have guidance that you didn't use. No, she used no, she, no, I didn't. I used no, the six. I used the six. You didn't use the four. Because I guided her, but she didn't use it. Guidance lasts, oh. lasts for, I believe, a minute oh, wow. for use. So guidance? Hold on, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't last very long. Guidance, time. guidance lasts for one minute. Let Let it and I, 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 will say, I will say because in this instance, oh, no. like having to maintain concentration, I will allow it. So go ahead and roll. Okay. Yes. You can make it. No. 11? Yes. Okay. Oh, you missed it. 11 was, was, was enough to kind of pull this up. <laughs> you push into the eight minutes. Of it, barely holding on, the rock is starting to fart this sucker. Now, bargain, bargain. now with with each progressive point of this, especially with the the low roll of last time, the rock is starting to crack and like the edge starts to chip and fall off, like down um, below. Is there any reaction as like little parts of rock is, are falling to the ground? Do we see any creatures or coming? Or any activity beneath us? Not at the moment. No. Okay. okay. Great. I'm gonna s- s- very gently set the rock down on the ground. Okay. <laughs> it kind of almost immediately crumbles into three pieces as it lands, like psh, psh, cracking and kind of sundering as it hits. Uh, but you all kind of step back onto the dusty ground. The storm Got like still a surrounding. minute left. Yeah. Should I try to lift everybody and move them farther away off the rock so we're farther away from this this big that? rumble? I've got a minute left. I'm going to try to move as many That's people good. as I can one by one <laughs> farther away from this big stone. Okay. You might want to start with either. And gently sit. Down. Yeah, I've got a lot of HP, even though I'm kind of useless, so feel free to throw me first. Okay. Okay. I did not. So you can move them up to 60 feet. Okay, great. I'm going to move everybody 60 feet and away from this that big boulder. Okay. So as it sits now, you've all managed to get to the periphery, likely, of their awareness. The storm's still swirling around you. You can all attempt one more group stealth check to see if you can avoid them entirely. It's still up. Do now, still have... yeah. here's, now, here's the thing. Mm-hmm, here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> Pass that a trace you gathered oh. didn't quite have an effect as this was. He did it. <laughs> they did it. That's true. I'm blaming it on that. Is tech well? I mean, also mine is technically stone, ba- like merged with stone. So I don't know if that if that helps us or not. Flare? But I'm happy to. I'm take. I'll take whatever you say. I'm not going to argue it. I look at the appeal. It's a, a different the appeal. spell. When I cast it's, it. No, it's, it literally it literally <laughs> says. I'm just saying. It literally up, says so. merge with stone, like on the page. It's but I'm like, I'm taking what I agree. <laughs> 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 when Ashen does it, it hits different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just, you know, I'm, just I'm, I'm a slam to the page. I don't know what to tell you. It literally says I'm pretty baller. But I'm I'm easy. That's what Merge with Stone says, but what does... Uh, uh, you can cast Pass Without a Trace without minute once for long rest, con- yeah, that, so but it's, it's called Merge with Stone. So it's the stats. But right. I'm, I'm fine, whatever. This is, but you were, okay, you know what? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. I won't be fine. No, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Like because that is now. the nature of, of your physical ability, and you concentrating on this instance, mm-hmm. I'll allow it. Hey, oh, if you, if you earn a shadow hide later, I I totally respect that. Just saying. Oh, don't worry, I'm noting it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so everyone, go ahead and make a group stealth check, please. God, Thirty-one. Is, I hate it. With, with the pass without a trace. With the yeah. pass without a trace. So. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. That's great. That's great. I know. I rolled a four and a five 29. with advantage. Uh, we had advantage? 31! No. You have advantage. Okay. 31. Okay. 16. Okay. 25. Mm-hmm. 22. Okay. A tense few minutes pass as you begin to step as gingerly as you can. The element of elf, not elf, earth magic that you feel kind of emanate from Ashen as you progress makes the dusty and rocky ground almost feel like you're stepping on sponge, just preventing most of the vibration of your footfalls as you move. It's odd, but it also gives you a sense of comfort in knowing this is the best chance you have. Move on for about five more minutes, gingerly, 
from foot to foot before you begin to feel like there's a pretty good chance that you've managed to escape the hunting radius of whatever those entities were. Can we still see the city skyline in the distance? No, the storm. The storm. The storm has completely enveloped. Like you, you can only really see about 30, 40 feet ahead of you. You know what would have helped us see the city outline better? Mm. You'd be rolled better. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, my rolls are reliable. Do we even know what direction <laughs> we're walking in? Yeah, you, you're you're keeping the best you can. Uh, who is helming this? In a survival Why? sense. In a survival Why? sense, Why? yeah. In a survival sense. I could, I could do it, maybe. Go ahead and roll survival for me. I, I got a plus four. Oh, you got a great one, Fern. Well, whichever one of you want, whichever one of you wants to try and ensure that you you can ascertain the same direction you were traveling in the midst of the storm. Ain't me. I know where to go. All right, Fern, go ahead and roll survival for me. What? Thirteen. <laughs> It's okay, give me like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Fern begins to guide you through the storm. 13. 13. <laughs> Another hour passes of pushing through this incredibly dense, dusty, windswept space. Fucking circle. And you're not sure how close or how far you are from your destination. Uh, I need somebody else to roll a d20 for that hour That's of travel. That's I program my circuits. <laughs> Big money, I no way. flip whammy. a change bringer coin and I got, what am I rolling? You flip, you flip your coin? Yeah. Ah, oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do Go after it. Just a, just a straight roll? Just a straight roll. 18. 18, all right. The storm begins to subside. And right as it does, another strange glow of the surrounding landscape. Oh. The entirety of Rudis begins to bright, brighten up and flare. <laughs> as it goes off, you all feel that same passing wave of energy. The two Rudis born, you both oh. get your 15 temporary hit points. Sweet, on top of the other one? No, they would just Fuck. They don't. Stack. Don't stop. That's good though for like everybody that's been on the. Moon. Don't act too excited. <laughs> I do kind of instinctually and nervously grab Imogen's hand right before this is about to happen. Yeah. Please. I hug her. Levitate. And she I just hug. like drift up a little bit, just instinctually okay. as the energy like drifts off the surface of Ruidus, You kind of go with it, like you've been caught in like a sail catching wind for a moment. You kind of get lifted up, and Ladna kind of holds you anchored before pulling you back down as you uh -huh. hold on to her. Do I feel any wolfy <laughs> desires in this flash? My visual is <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't. No, no, no. As you, as you cling to her for, uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Do I feel any wolfy urges in this flash? Uh, no. Cool. Fern float too, or you just too? Well, you do feel the, uh, that spirit wolf element that you were granted in your brief time in A. Shenador kind of still acting as a protector and guide here. Like there's a part of you that's ever shielded on, on the inside. Ever since that one moment that an element of the moon itself seemed to acknowledge your existence and began to set you on dangerous transformations beyond the normal lunar cycle. But that spirit holds itself at bay. <laughs> do we have eyes on the city again? The storm breaks away and you do have eyes on the city. Oh, thank uh, you've gone a little bit off course, um, and you have I haven't... really thought I had it, I'm sorry. No, sorry. I really, th I'm sorry. Yeah. That wind is strong, it's yeah, hard, it's, it's impossible. It just, I mean, it just added another hour of travel. It didn't send you back, but it didn't send you <clears throat> towards it either. I, this is a whole new, you know. It's a scenic location. route. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look well, at well, everything we saw yeah. in that hour. <clears throat> we saw so much sand. Yeah. So many granules of dust. So many. With the visibility yeah. back, any kind of <clears throat> Milestones, markers, outposts, anything in between here in the city that's starting to show where it didn't before. Outposts. Any sense of life, movement, anything. Like perception, geography, even. Mm. Also, Imogen, should we try to reach out I and know, I was just contact the volition? Ooh. Well, because we have no. Co what was sorry? Mm. Oh, uh, 19. We have no concept of where their headquarters are, right? 
We were told it was en route to the city. It was near the city, but that, that's we pretty much all we have. Yeah. yeah. Should we reach out to Ira? I think that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't yeah. know. What if, what if he's just chilling with the volition? Yeah. Could be. Or what if he's sitting in right next to the right hand of lewdness? Why would he be doing that? He goes where, where it benefits does. him, right? That's I, true. Let's do it. Reach out. To, to Ira? Ira, yeah. You want to do it or me? He was an ally for a minute. You rolled the you said. I did. Just where okay. are you? What's going on? We're on the moon? Should we tell him we're on the moon? I guess we, he would know. We tell, him, we tell him we're on the moon. Sound enticing. He likes enticing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I will focus, grip my coin, and I will cast sending on Ira Widowgast. <laughs> <laughs> that's his name, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yep. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, focusing on your coin in hand, it's like there's a, f a slight haze between you and the change bringer in this moment, and it takes you a little additional effort than you're used to to establish that connection before you feel that that divine tether come to you. And as it does, she takes and sends it out, uh, though itself taking longer to find, mm. purchase, and its destination than you expect. But indeed, it does find the essence of Ira Wendigoth. What would you like to say? Bells, hell's here, on the moon with you. We've got information and treasure. So it ties in, that's good. And plans. Mm -hmm. So many plans. Tell him I said hi. Lana says hi. <laughs> Where can we find you? <laughs> oh my. <gasps> you finally come along. Welcome to the Crittenson land of the strange. I know he's getting poetic. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I've been busy watching, learning. Ah! He's going to make you waste another spell. That's all right. He knows it. That's he knows right. it. It's all right. He's a friend. You waste spells for friends. <laughs> In relation to Craveris, whereabouts might we find you? Please be specific and brief. <laughs> <laughs> that we may speak more in person. <laughs> Lana still says hi. <laughs> but where's the fun? <laughs> 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 Faye. <laughs> I'm very interested to talk, but I want to see how interested you are to find me. This dick. Am I going to burn another or that's no, it? No, no, that's no. It. That's no. it. That's no. it. That's it. We've been given our answer. When, so when we heard his voice, was there anything in the background? Mm. Any uh, sounds? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the it works like that. <laughs> He's in a Starbucks. He's watching the Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> so we're watching Price is Right in the background. Fresh! The clock at City Hall. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bing bong! Now arriving at Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. If you say something, <laughs> say something. <Yeah. laughs> Mind the gap. Okay. Okay. Sorry. You gonna reach out to? Zesh. Zesh. I tried before. She seemed very unwilling to talk, but. But now we could say something like, "We killed the Will Master Elzmodi." Yes. El Elmuda. <laughs> It's very different. Yeah. Elmuda. We 
met and dispatched the Will Master. We feel we have earned the right to an audience with you. Wait, you where did this now aggressive? Give it to you us. Do it. Yeah. You do it. Where, where, where did this aggressive? Felt? How's your? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel dirty. But how do we know for Letters, sure how's your that? Right now? Real bad. Is it? Show me on the show me on the puzzle. You're super stressed. How are you feeling? He's been stressed for like three games. Use your toy. How does he reset stress? So you don't know. You attack me. Like around here. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Cool. Okay. You know. We need to we need to install an actual meter on the outside of his. I can do that. That'd be great, and then we can all be aware of like when you're radio. about to blow. That's a great idea. I can write that down so I remember. <laughs> Like a mood ring. What if, yeah. what if, what if, oh, that is a really oh, it's good turning idea. red. <gasps> mood rings. He's in love. <laughs> All right. What if, what if, what if um, Edmuda is like friends with Zesh? I'm like, what if they're, they're going to be mad that, that no. Zesh is okay. anti Edmuda, I think. They are? We're sure about this? Yeah, I think so, yes. yes. Zesh was with the, the rebellion. Short the of resistance. having bad intel. And Edmuda yeah. was not. Okay, okay, that's right. Okay. okay. Well, 19. Is, yes. Well, this is transpiring. Don't worry, I forget you. Oh, oh sorry, me. sorry. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you had a more interesting yeah. storyline, maybe. Yeah, be, yeah. Okay. Right, so just <laughs> yeah. like, uh, uh, what I wrote down was Zesh reformed Rhyloran Shriek, friends, Shrike. Shrike, fuck, I keep doing that. Shrike, friends with the Volition. Shriek. Glass Trader, Volition headquarters are outside Creveris somewhere. That's all I got. Thanks. Uh, while they're, Figuring this out, you're glancing past and kind of getting as much detail as you can on what bit of the sky you can see. There are uh, what look to be like structured outposts along the mountain range that kind of surrounds the city. And you can see from the inside, there's numerous very tall, thin spires that have like connecting cables or banners. You can't really tell. From this distance, there's still quite a you know another hour or so of travel before you begin to reach the outskirts of it. Um, but you can see there's like much as it's nestled in there, there are maybe two dozen very fine, tall points, like like very thin towers that seem to be emerging. And those tall, thin points, do the banners look like they stretch from top to top, or from the top down to a point near the bottom? So? Uh, multitudes. Crisscrossing in all yeah, directions. Yeah, it's kind of like a whole series of connections, like a like an odd bit of, of ship sail yeah, you know, rope, rope system rigging, but just across this this tall, thin skyline above cool. the city. Okay. This is an outpost, you saw? No, this is uh, in in the city. Like you can see these tall, a dozen oh. tall, thin spires with like ropes or in or on banners. the edge of. You can't tell. All throughout the inside. Throughout of the, city. the in oh cool. And, you know, if we could arrange some sort of meeting spot, you could tell Zesh that we have El Muna's body as like a show oh, that's of. That's right. Mm-hmm. Oh. <clears throat> To, yeah. prove, to prove things. We still got pieces of we have all made, right? All of well, she's, yeah. they, they probably no hands. suffocated in the in the, <laughs> the hole. I would they haven't be, been able oh. to open it up. Is El Munda still alive in there? No, probably she, not. No. They wouldn't have been, right? She would have run out of air. A long time ago. The, the, the arms that you threw were from the Juggernaut, I believe. They were from oh, the, the Juggernaut, that's yeah. right. No, um, and Muda, you guys don't have a corpse of. We don't, why? It's in the hole, but the we last place know. we saw it was in the hole. We don't. Last place you saw it was in the hole. That's, we don't know. That's we don't have correct. Table so that's valid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, the out, right. Just to put it to sleep, the outposts that were up on the rocky hillside or mountainous areas, how how far away? Like far? It's just a big uh, pile of black pudding. A little. It's an hour to get just walking to the city itself. It's cool. uh, probably a good two hours to kind of climb, get along the outer edges, and climb up to where they are. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. I'll try to send a. Yeah, send I mean, space-ish. I think it's right. That this this body of El Muda, Muda is really going to be the thing that makes this happen for us. Yes, you're right. You're just right. Just a just a quest, just to toss it out there, because we've never been to a city like this, and we only moved through the farm. Mm-hmm. Is there any point to hitting an outpost? What does that mean? There's an outpost, like a, an early warning area, that's away from the city. It's like two hours, not in the direction of the city, but out there. But you could. If we could figure out like what the guards are like, what kind of defenses they have, what kind of sure. capabilities might we see at the main city? Do they have anything stashed in an outpost that's got less people on it than sure. like a city wall? You're it's great. Going to well, we still a would make oh sorry foreign city for like just figuring out how not to insult every person that we come across. Won't we be so obvious if we go into Creveris mm-hmm. anyway? No, there's so many. It's a big city, and there's 
there's weird people from the surface all over right now. I bet they're getting used to the weird. How would they even know, that, like the one from another? If, and that were particularly unusual. Like one thing we we're are. missing is—is yes, is there? A, have a question. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there like a is there a code word that people say when they see each other, or a greeting, yeah, or a right, handshake, right, right, right. or a medallion that we could take off somebody, and or say we came from outpost blah 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 under the command of Mike Shinoda. One more meeting with a smaller oh my Mike, Mike Shinoda. Shinoda. I'm, <laughs> I'm oh, all right with that. Yeah. Either way, so, though, we should contact Zash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they might have the right. volition might know how to. Get around as well. All right. I'm gonna send a message. Okay, I'll do it. <coughs> Jack! <laughs> <laughs> Who's counting? I got. It. No, okay. Got it. You didn't trust us before. Maybe the dispatching. Of Enmuda will convince you. We need to find the volition. Six more. We're here to help. Outside, Carveris. Clutch nice. grammar. The last six. Yes. <laughs> She's so good at it. Make a persuasion check for me. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Sorry? Big 20. <coughs> just looking can't at can't retroactively video. guidance her. Okay. 20. Hey. 20. You begin to think that maybe they didn't hear you or they're ignoring you. There's a brief period where there's no response until eventually they do come back. Um, look, if you must talk, find me in the jagged edge within the clutch. Ooh. Jagged edge, clutch, we have a location. Jagged little pill. <laughs> oh, yes. Jagged edge. Tell Jido that you are of the vanguard. Looking for a contract. A contract? Yeah. I like that we're all writing it down, yep. just in case. Yeah, just in case, just in case. We all cross reference spelling, it's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Judo. I'm drawing feet. Judo. Judo. I heard Judo. Which one is it? Judo. 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 Okay. okay. Okay, in the clutch, that seems like a neighborhood in Corveris, probably, yeah. right? Yeah, jagged edge within the clutch. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. right. Are you heading towards one of the... Towards the city or towards an outpost? Yeah. Outpost is a diversion, but if it's smaller, we could either try and blend in, we could... Learn some information. Observe, or we could hit them, take their stuff. I like the outpost. I think it's better to start small, yeah. What's the What's the, what's the ball? Yeah. <gasps> Nothing. Nothing. When we get close to the outpost, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Yeah, let's swing by an outpost. I agree. Also, we, we don't really know our, what the jagged edge we is. We took. So. Yeah, I'm swing by an outpost. We took off our um, uniforms, right? Our vanguard uniforms. Yeah, I yeah. thought yeah, we were still wearing, wearing them, them, but we took them yeah. off for some reason. Sorry. But we can put them back on. Yeah. Up to you. Let's put them back on. If we do go to the outpost. Or what if they alert the city? Like, what if something yeah. oh, bad happens? That's true. But maybe we can send in our stealthiest, wealthiest, invisible people. We can also just attempt to blend in and just try and see we what new happens. members of the Vanguard coming through. We're all in disguise. Yeah. The answer to yeah. both of those is if it's going to go bad, it would be better to be bad at an outpost than the yeah. main the, city. The big, yeah. So let's, and, yeah. If and you haven't tried your, like, little summoning of a Rhyloran yet, well, right? not. To, like, be an escort? No, because it could be from the I think back it on it, yeah, I, I've had Imperium. 
ones, Imperium? Yeah. Yeah, the Cabarrus Imperium, yeah. Yeah. And I've had Vanguard ones. I mean, fuck me running. The Volition ones. You're so could, fast, though. I could make myself <laughs> look like one. A Ralorn? Yeah. Wait, no. You really? have? Okay, so I've been kind of like playing around at night. Mm hmm. And just, mm -hmm. <laughs> no. And just trying to like. It's healthy. See if I can look, like, practice my magic. <gasps> and sometimes I can look a little different. Mm -hmm. And why would you want to? Like You're so beautiful. I know, but I'm just saying, like, if I wanted to look different, <laughs> it'd be great. We could use it. That's so amazing. Just, yeah, you could be like guiding us because most of them have well. like a, a pre-shirtless sure Okay, that's amazing. That's you know, instantly it, less it, suspicious. In case, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just right. in case we need it. I mean, I know you can also summon one, but maybe we can have, if there's more. Yeah, of course. You know, but more years. here's my question. Oh, but then I might get pissed. Well, <laughs> most of the Ryloran. Not to be, not to be a naysayer. No, no, no. Let's do it. We gotta break it. We gotta see. Most of the Ryloran speak telepathically to each other. They don't use their mouths. Yeah, he's gonna try to do that to me, and I'm gonna be like. A question for you. Just stare at him. I got a broken transponder right now. When when someone speaks to you in that way, are you are you completely zeroed in on where it came from? Like if. These three were Ryloran. You're nuts. And one of them spoke. Would you know which one it was coming from? Oh. Or could you speak for A little, a little <laughs> mental ventriloquism. Oh. Yeah, sneaky you, sneak. Because you'll know be able the to hear that? their thoughts. <clears throat> the Muppet I mean, Gambit. I'll be able to hear. Big fan. But if they're talking, if they're trying to talk to If they direct it at, at Fern. And I could just be but like. But then you could just sort of open your mind and hear their, just kind of their direction? thoughts in general. Even and you just look wise. Oh, what if we're telepathic? Okay, okay, Matt's okay, going to tell us the answer. Tell us in your experience, mm -hmm. if it's an entity that you're familiar with their essence, you can recognize their essence. Otherwise, you it is directionless until the source makes itself known. Or it's a strong enough connection that you cannot you know, deny what it is. But like the brief brief conversations you've had with Rylorns in the past and since you've arrived here, it's only because the only real signature is they're there and looking at you when they talk. Otherwise, you're not sure you'd be able to tell where the source was. Okay. So, so as long as we stay away from them. Yeah, just give them the nod. <laughs> yeah, and I could just be like, you know, and I'll be like, penis. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is also, as long as it's not someone that's met us, because then they know your right. brain voice. Right. Yeah, if yeah, somebody's yeah. met us, then we're in for a fight anyway. Yeah, just <clears throat> stroke your chin a lot, like tap your head. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, just All the stare stuff Imogen does whenever yeah. she speaks in Yeah, that's what mind. I do. Every mm -hmm. once in a while, I'll just say, uh huh. Well, wait, let's see your disguise. Let's see how good Unless it's gonna, well, it's gonna waste the spells. Well, let me see, let me see. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> is it effortless? I mean, for me, it is. <laughs> for me, it is. We know it. Okay. <laughs> let's see. It lasts for an hour. It lasts for an hour, so I would have to. to, to Do it I think it lasts get, for an hour. I don't know. I just had like a hunch. Just to get an idea. Yeah. How far away from the outpost are we? Uh, you have a little under two hours of travel, and Pretty it's like cool. climbing up the side of this, you know, the smaller mountain. All right. Kind of, it's a hike. Switch back up there, and you'll be doing it out in the open. Oh, the hike. There's no cover. forest cover. Uh, I mean, the switch back in the mountain will help protect it, but at a like certain Vanguard. point, you will become yeah. visible. Yeah. Like Approaching an outpost. We put on our uniforms again. I think mean, right. it's weirder to be from Exandria, not Vanguard, than uh, it is uh -huh. to be. Plus, maybe nine times out of ten, people just see a group of Vanguard with Ryloran from a distance and go, checks out, and don't even stop. So, maybe, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. How many times can you do it? Let's see. Did we see what the ca caravan looked like? Was it like, did we see the you know, uh, thing they were on with the carts? Or just like... keep the two people that saw them uh, and got a good look at them can describe that information. But they, uh, the carts themselves are. Not too dissimilar to Exandrian carts. They're a bit closer to the ground. The wheels are kind of at an angle, um, and they were being pulled by uh, the um, bloody buffalo. Yes, the Wakors. Towards the front, there it is. Also, um, sorry, just spitball and chat. Yep. Yeah. Master craftsman. Legendary. Legendary with wood. How's your mask making? It's pretty good. Could you craft a handful? Of curved dark crystal masks for all of us. It'd Ooh. take time. Plus, how much wood do you have? Not enough. Not like that. 
no, no, no. Give me this, and I pull out a giant redwood. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those That'd are be, protected. That would be amazing. I just <laughs> jump on <laughs> Not here, they're everywhere. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> With time, I could do that. And That's supplies. Also, if we kill enough people, I could just take their faces and. Oh, it's, I could do that. That's too. what I was Great. thinking. Oh, I wouldn't. Little, flesh little, 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 little Hannibal. Little Hannibal. Switch. What if we gave you all of the toys that you whittled us? And no, why it's too precious. Yeah, well, you could use that wood. I am I not have, giving up. I don't have glue. Me. I definitely don't have nails. I don't, you know. Okay. I nails yeah. into a mask. Never mind. Don't want to know. I'm just. Let's just. It's a good idea. Okay, let's keep going. We're, we're, have, go. we're having outpost. this conversation while we're walking. Charging yeah. up the side the of the mountain as the gradual ascent begins to become more. Oh, <laughs> oh Robbie! Robbie! Oh. I love you. <laughs> Robbie <lives. laughs> oh, we <won. laughs> uh, He totally has good guys. He's got show eyebrows. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> I think the reference they were using in the office was like Clippy. Oh yeah. 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 Um, it seems you're trying to triangle a person. <laughs> Uh, climbing up, there is no like driven path that you can see, so it's a bit of a climb and a bit of a walk, and just kind of finding your way up the best you can. Um, who's guiding the path upward? You. Why me? Well, because it was me last time, so I think it's big me. survival. Let's go. Oh, is this, this is the, the, 20? the twenty? This is the big twenty, no, or the survival, survival check? This is the survival check to find oh. the best route up to the top. I will I'm assist you. Okay. Mm. And I'm going to try to make I, sure we're I've not surprised. <laughs> sure. Looking and listening for oh, strangers. Well. Did you roll with advantage? Oh, no, I didn't. I forgot. Shit. Jesus. Oh, geez. <laughs> that's cut. Also cut. Okay. Oh, oh that's, that's Six good. dice rolls to get the. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like this dice one. Man. I know, it's all good. I've lost so many. This is the only other one I like. No, it's okay. I, I hate it. Okay. Um, Out of all of that, that's the only other one you like? Listen. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What the fuck was I just doing? <laughs> <laughs> Survival. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so, so I'm sorry. Well. <laughs> COVID fucked with my brain. Okay. Yeah, as did we all. Blame it on. Um, okay. Spit that everywhere. It's like the first time you've ever said that. I know. It's COVID. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, 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 it was 24. It was 15. It was 18 with a. With oh, it your was. Advantage. Okay, 27. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, 27. 27. Uh, sorry. Quickly, you find the most direct route you can that involves the least amount of dangerous rock climbing. Uh, thankfully, you have a rock person, so even the few bits that are challenging you have between you and now. Uh, did you leave behind one of the two rods, or did you take them both? No, we took them both. Okay. Them both. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. With between these rods, and that oh. climb, climbing is not a huge challenge. Um, I know exactly where to go. But for this hour of travel, let's see how the weather and such occurs. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Let's go for it. And uh, you don't want to do it? You can do a laudna. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. She rolls. I, I hate rolling it because I feel like I always no, no, roll something. You're gonna be fine. We all roll. It's gonna be something. great. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna roll something. I know we'll get to it in five rolls. But... Fifteen. Hey. Fifteen. Yeah. The sky remains clear, mm. and as you begin to reach the summit of this kind of surrounding range of broken mountains, the city of Kaviris is now even more visible off to the side, and the rest of you can see these like top spires that you had made out at a distance. Uh, there, are, you know, kind of a, a smattering of them, about three dozen across this surface, and the city seems smaller than you expected. Um, you know, for, for being the central. Uh, Civilization here, it's probably probably half the size of Drusar. Oh. As far as like the number of you know surface of, of buildings, but what you can see amongst these towers beneath them are these masses of structures around them. You see these buildings that are just carved from stone uh, with kind of round window and uh, doorway portholes, as well as other like somewhat half domed exits and entrances. Um, they are put together like, like, like egg clusters almost. The way they're kind of amassed in in sections and chunks. Is this really creepy. in the distance, you're saying? Yes, it's yeah. like looking down over the edge. There's, you can see a little more of the city from this vantage point. You also see the outpost tower that you are currently working towards. It's like a uh, not terribly massive, but somewhat uh, rock carved 
rising tower, maybe about 40, 35 feet tall. Um, simple. You can see there are a number of windows built into it. There's an entryway and stairs. Uh, and there are two figures standing on the top, looking down at all of you, and one that is already beelining to walk in your direction. Uh-oh. You're and you've already up? turned yourself? You've turned yourself it's into... Nice. It's time. <clears throat> it's time. Yeah, 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 I'll turn myself. Yes, yes. Before. Turn away and sneeze. This guy's still... I'm going to turn. Should I look at... <laughs> should I look at... Should I look like a... Like one of the Imperium, or should I just do a regular... Regular? Uh, an Imperium. Imperium. Okay. Guidance. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you know what? No. I'm going to... I'm gonna misguide. Enhance ability. <laughs> Enhance oh, ability. Nice, yes. nice. You have advantage on charisma stuff. Great. Even better. Okay. So as you all begin to clamber over the edge of the rock, you transform yourself, and you're taking on the form of uh, an Imperium, my lord. Okay. So similar garb that you saw yes. that the Willmaster was wearing, uh, the same kind of uh, intense, almost like dark shark eyes, the the heavy kind of bone cleft on the, the skull kind of protruding out back. Um, you step before the rest of the crew that's walking with you in your vanguard outfits. You can see now the figure that's approaching has a huge uh, like shawl of wrapped material over their shoulders. It looks leather-like. Um, the color itself just blasted of any color but dusty brown and red. You can see it kind of quickly or, or uh, thickly wrapped around the shoulders and kind of uh, hides the left arm. Uh, they're very tall, and they're not Ryloran. Uh, this this being, you haven't seen a figure like this before. Maybe about eight feet tall, uh, very thin, and from what you can see, the lower half of the body, aside from like the kind of leather-looking uh, chest plate and kind of torn pants that stop at the knee, the rest of the legs below are like bright gray fur and these like clawed-like feet that kind of dig in with each step. Bi bipedal? Bipedal. Um, the, uh, the head itself has a similar material to the uh, kind of shawl and cloak that it has, kind of goes over the head and there are these goggles that are set up on the forehead. And you can see uh, this, this being, it, it's humanoid, but it, it's kind of furred on the edges, kind of that same like gray and white kind of fur coloration. Um, it, the best way I can describe it is it's kind of like a Sasquatch-esque type entity as it kind of like lumbers towards you all, and you can see uh, in its one exposed hand, uh, it looks like there's some sort of a... You've not seen an object like this before. It looks almost like a crossbow, but at the end of it has a bit of that glass mm -hmm. kind of affixed it in an upward kind of hooked arc. And as it begins to step forward, it kind of holds it at a calm angle at its side, kind of just letting you know that it's at the ready. It doesn't seem to make any sort of statement or say anything. It just kind of stands and So far, so good. Mm -hmm. keep, the, keep the ruse up. Um, Are we, we're all together, we're right? We're all together, mm -hmm. but we haven't decided what we're going to fucking mm -hmm. say when we got here. That's what I was asking about the caravan. Maybe our caravan broke down, we came to all the right. nearest outpost. Uh, sure, I'm gonna stand behind, like directly behind Fern, <clears throat> and uh, think to the guy. Yeah, like new recruits or something. Yeah. Um. <laughs> there are names we have, Elmuda and everything else. Yes, 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 yes. New recruits for the Vanguard. Our caravan broke down. Yours was the nearest outpost. Talk with your hands, dude. No, don't do that. That was the fucking back to face. It's one of these. <laughs> yep. That was exactly what was in my head. Damn it. For I need you to make a deception check for me. Oh, no. Oh, that's good. It's charisma. You got an advantage. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's good. You have advantage. Okay. <laughs> okay. 21. Okay. 
And you hear in your voice, as it kind of looks towards you, kind of cocks one eye a little closed and goes, Well, uh, I don't know why you'd bring recruits up here to our kind of outskirt locale, unless they're assigned here, but uh, whatever we can do to help you, uh, just let us know. And the figure kind of like puts their hand up underneath and you, you see like kind of the, the clawed fingertips kind of like run some of the snot from under its nose. As you are. <laughs> All right. Kind of rests it onto its shoulder and turns around and starts walking back towards the uh, the tower. Uh, and sh shouts out, You're fine! Oh, with his voice? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're fine or? They're, they're fine. fine. They're fine. So, from where we are sitting, how many, do we see other folk up you there? You see two figures on the top of the tower. Two, okay. And they're still just kind of sitting and watching. And are they the same type yeah, of creature? Uh, it's hard to tell. Both wearing the same kind of like, kind of head covering that both like kind of shades, uh, with but they both have goggles over their eyes. Um, actually, one of them probably has it up. Uh, one of them looks to be uh, Bormoto, though a little more of a uh, militaristic energy to them. And you can see they have this long, uh, some sort of a arranged weapon. Uh, we didn't pack out our. Um... Supplies very well. Do you guys have any water we can have? As you ap approach, the uh, the first figure is kind of walking alongside you. And goes, Dude, I'm, I'm sure we could work something out here. Um, looks back to you and kind of. What do you want? You. <clears throat> I say oh. from her head. I say, what do you want from me? Are you not hearing anything? No, because no, he's, fo he's focusing, focusing on, on her. her. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure I get everything straight on this about when, what your commanding officer is so I can in ensure that you and your troop have been properly put into our records. You don't recognize the well master? <laughs> Make a deception check. The will master? He's going for it? All right. I don't know your shit was. Yeah. I could. It's cocked. That's cocked. 20 more times. What the <laughs> shit? Okay, okay, okay. okay. No, I'm sorry. It was crooked and it wasn't even leaning into anything. Uh, 22. 22. It's a cage die. Well, uh, my, my apologies. Don't get a lot of. Will masters or will anybody of this side of <laughs> the range? Um, well, we have, by all means, kind of like looks confused and kind of steps back a bit and sets his weapon to the side and steps inside the tower and kind of pushes past. You can see now the door, it doesn't, it doesn't close. Oh. There's like a, a heavy curtain that's split in the middle and he kind of like pushes it aside as he heads. I stay right on his heels. Going in, looking around, looking around. Okay. Casual looking, looking the fuck around. <clears throat> okay. You come inside. Two things uh, you notice. Uh, on the inside, there are these kind of glass lanterns hanging that are kind of lowly lit, but as soon as you and this figure step in, they brighten kind of by proximity and kind of flicker slightly to light the inside. You can see there's the open window that kind of looks mm -hmm. off to this edge. You can see there's a staircase that kind of spirals up to the next level above in the tower. Um, uh, it's, Relatively simply furnished. This is a handful of chairs and kind of stools set around the space. You can see there's a kind of what you expect to be a a, a barrel, but the material itself doesn't appear to be wooden. It's it's kind of like almost lopsided, like almost like it melted a little in the sun. Oh. Um, but the figure walks over and kind of reaches inside and pulls out some sort of dried, scratchy-looking material and starts gnawing on it before sitting back on the stool. Looks back at you. I, I, don't know, I don't know what else you want. Just water. The barrel? Over, and he kind of points to a, there's a, a another kind of glass jug that's right next to it. Um, that looks like it's partially embedded in the ground, like you can only see the top half of it. Uh, the jug itself has like a screw top that comes off and. We'll uh, go over, try it. 
easy to pull free. Oh, okay. And there's a, there's a there's a hit it with a spoon. <laughs> there's there's a bone carved ladle that's kind of resting inside Ooh. of it, and you can immediately like hear the sloshing as you kind of move it around inside. This so you have to kind of like scoop the water out for your own use. It is water. Yeah. Okay, great. It's liquid at least. Has it been uh, pretty dead around here lately? No, it's been a lot of business, a lot of folks going in and out. What are the rest of you doing? I'm. Uh, I want to. Yeah. You know, no, go for it. I want to see if there's a place to get a view. I want to see. I want to see the city. Uh, you can go towards the edge of the mountain range, just a little ways off from the tower, oh. or there's the top of the tower. Too. I was. I was top thinking about going to the top of the tower. I'll join Ashton. Yeah. I don't want to be looked at too closely. Okay. I'm gonna stand next to Fern and pretend like I'm like her right hand. Sure. You've if we it. go up to the top of the tower, are people gonna be like, well, where the fuck are you going? Or is it like pretty easy to just kind of wander up? I mean, it's easy to wander up. There's, there's just a staircase that leads up further above. And two bodies up there, right? You so saw two three, figures up three there. Three total so far that we've seen? Okay. I'm gonna wrap myself up pretty tightly, goggles, try and cover as much as my face mm. as I can. And look, um, like I'm the bitchy member of the group, I'm just like, Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just don't talk to me. Chasing. I'm not Give full yes. <laughs> I'm definitely Baby. I'm preparing for terrible dust up there and yeah. Okay. And also when he came out, just his general appearance, anything different or that stood out uh, uniquely from the other Vanguard that we've seen up here, anything different from the kind of stuff we're wearing? Vestments. Yeah, they're not wearing Vanguard vestments. They're they're just wearing kind of Survival vestments with heavy oh, kind of right. dust like, cloaks. Yeah, okay. uh, slightly more of a militaristic look, but it's all definitely weathered. Um, so these folk have—they definitely feel like the kind of individuals that would be set on the outskirts to keep watch right, for it. an extended part of their lives. Got it. They're all yeah. the pure little crusty. Siberia. Yeah. Mm. So as you're sitting there, you kind of looking, just looking at you, still kind of chewing. It's been hard out there for us. How do you uh, do it as long as you have? That's how it's always been. Sorry we're not as uh, soft. But we're learning. You. We're learning. <laughs> Trying to fit in. Soft is right, though. Cut myself all the time. I'm a little further up there in years. Oh! Oh, but my knees and my back are just, they're killing me, especially these flares. Glances back to you and goes. Do I hear anything? No. Do I hear anything? <laughs> are you listening into his mind? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes. Are you using detect thoughts? Mm-hmm. Okay. Detect thoughts, you come in partially into it and you hear, Really think that they're going to be of use? Some of them appear to be a little, uh, a little plump, ready to fall or fall dead any minute. Excuse me. Uh, I'll say. With these cakes? I just. Since I, I can feel them looking at me. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'll just, I'll just do like a. Mm. It's enticing to many. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These dreamers, they don't know what they're in for. Ooh. Ooh. He responds and kind of, he nods for a second. I don't know what all, all that business is, but I could use less drier time, so whatever it takes, take them below. We will. We'll make use. <laughs> Can I get you anything? You seem a little off kilter. No, I'm just <laughs> sick of these dreamers. I'll finish I, with my. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and just like act like I'm. Meditating or something, so he stops talking to me. Okay. Where's my phone? I'm yeah. gonna go over where's with my, my propeller <laughs> hand and just start blowing a fan in. <laughs> Thanks for the water. I, that really fills the old, the old pouch. I'll start heading back towards the uh, 
exit of the hut as I'm scanning any like uh, weapons, gems, any panes of glass, anything that could be used as a communication device, a core, anything like that. Uh, make a perception check. He does exit, by the way. Like after after you sit down, he's like gets up and starts heading back out of the tower. Oh, we're alone now. Uh, temporarily. In, temporarily in this room, you're alone. If we're alone now, I'm gonna start ritually casting a spell. Yes, please. I didn't realize I could cast it ritually. Oh my god. We'll take 11 minutes. I don't want to waste another fucking fifth level. I used one already on. I know. I'm ritually he, casting he telepathic bombs. I could bomb. feel he was talking in my head. He just kept like looking at me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 16 for the inside of the bottom of this tower. 16, you can see there are the lanterns that are there and they have kind of like a, the surface of them is kind of like a rough glass texture to the outside. Um, and they're still kind of brightly glowing in your presence. Uh, there's no other weapons in this base floor. This, this seems almost like a general entryway, uh, other than like a sitting and conversational space. It's fairly empty. Okay, I'll just uh, keep moving out since I don't want to give off too strong of a vibe. And the Sasquatch looking fellow left the door that we yeah, entered. He, yeah, he went out through the curtains to the exterior from where you entered. Okay. And how long have we been traveling since we came up from underground? Uh, let's see, that would be. I'd say it's probably been about almost two hours since we, two to three hours since we started, which was a few hours, an hour since you left from underground. So about four hours since you left. Okay. Which means you probably have two more hours on the. We cast the mind, mind one as soon as we came up from underground. Right. Yeah. So it would, so be, it would be four hours left. Four hours left. Yeah. Okay. Left what? Meanwhile. Mind shield. The two of you. Step up to the second floor. As we are kind of uh, <clears throat> a minute by ourselves, as we head up the tower, I'm going to tell Pate to go invisible. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, you come up to like a second portion of the tower. This looks like a, a middle floor that has uh, three window kind of portholes on the sides of it. You saw from a distance. As you get to the second area. Uh, there are two tables set and three figures that are kind of sitting. Uh, Six total. Three Rylora, mm. all kind of at these various chairs, are kind of oh, looking oh. at each other before they all look over towards you. Us or just? I mean, you right behind her, but they, no. you're, you're probably the first one to emerge and kind of glance over in your direction, and one of them goes into your mind. Welcome. I can say, I can talk back, right? Give it a shot. Good to be here. <laughs> and I just keep going. They just walk you, or watch as you pass by, head slowly turning, kind of acknowledging you as you continue onward. And they all slowly look back at each other in silence. It'll be a very quiet city. Well, we'll see. Can I follow the... Uh, the guy that gave the water outside of the lower floor of the tower. Yeah. Can I say it? Can I kind of run up and go, excuse me, one, one more mm-hmm. thing. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. Listen, I'm, I'm really trying to impress the will master, but I'm doing this for my, my family. You look like you would make your parents very proud. I've forgotten the name of this outpost. It, if I don't tell the will master, they're going to, they're not going to let me join. Could you, could you remind me of the name? Tyrion A. Tyrion A. Oh, that's right. Tyrion A. Oh, thank you so much. You're, you're very good. Thank you. Thank you. So much. And I'll kind of walk off a little bit. Is there Make a deception check for me. Ooh. I have to detect thoughts up on that guy still. Uh, fifteen. Okay. You just watch you walk off, and you see him kind of like straddle up to what looks like a. Uh, a sitting rock at the edge of that cliff, and he kind of sits up on it and just starts like looking off over, keeping an eye occasionally. Like he'll pull out what looks like a weird spyglass thing and kind of look off in the distance as you kind of head back to the tower. And I'll just show him my back, just unassuming, waiting for the rest. All right, the two of you get all the way to the top, and there, this is just kind of an, an open. It's kind of like a, a half crenellated. It's almost like a like a somewhat. Sawtooth pattern to the top of the tower to give an areas to kind of either look 
hidden or to take protection if you were to get in a sort of a, a firefight. Um, but the two figures that were up there originally are sitting up there, almost like they were waiting for you to arrive. Uh, you see uh, one of them looks very much like the first figure that came to you, though female, you can see her, she has these like curved tusks that one of them almost, one of them goes straight and one almost like curves back into the cheek where it's like pushed into the skin Whoa. a little bit. Um, and uh, she has her goggles up and has what looks to be an Exandrian firearm across Ooh. her lap. Uh, fucking Percy! Oh my God. Guns have made it to okay, the moon. This is the way I was actually going to get to the moon, but that is pretty impressive. I, should, I mean, it's terrible. <laughs> Rolling to identify if it's actually a white stone built. No, never mind. Carry on. <laughs> the other one you see is this like kind of crotchety, somewhat grinning looking uh, Ramordo who is just kind of uh, sitting on the opposite side. Same kind of head garb with like the hood up, the kind of. Odd, solid hillside-like person uh, outline that they keep here as the dust is blowing by. Their goggles are still on, kind of brightly, and they have that kind of, you know, cherub-like cheeks, kind of pressed and folded beneath it, and the gr the mouth is like half cocked into a grin. And they themselves have uh, another one of those like crystal-pointed, like handheld devices that the first gentleman had, and they just kind of looking over as you step up, like they're they're waiting. The uh, the. Female kind of furred figure with the tusks just kind of looks at both of you while the Bermuda goes, hi, hi. Hey. Uh, Hello. It's just up here for the view, if that's okay. Had to get some fresh air from all this dust. Oh, Ugh, yeah, it's exhausting. Fresh. Very fresh. Ugh, I just walk past him and kind of like lean over the, the edge of the crenellated parapet and just kind of like slump looking outward, not. Not interested. Why, why, why are you here? <laughs> well, how here do you mean? Why are we here right here, or why are we, I don't know, I, uh, it's weird to say I've never been on the moon before, but it's not your moon. I, I'm just, uh, this is, this is a lot to look at. While Ashton <laughs> distracts them, I'm going to talk to Pate and tell him to go do a little scout of the surrounding area and look through his eyes while I... Sorry, this must be kind of boring for you, but yeah, I've never seen the what, city before. What's, what's it like? Oh, down where I come from? Yeah. I'll make you a deal. You ask me a question, I'll ask you a question. We can go back and forth. It's Looks my over first towards time. the other figure and you see the a kind of furred woman, arms crossed at this point now with a rifle across her lap goes, Oh, be careful. You don't like the question, you don't have to answer it. Ditto on my end, too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, I can. <laughs> you can go first. What's, uh, what's a strawberry taste like? It's It's almost like do you have have you ever had sugar? I don't know it's sweet out here. It's very very sweet and it's just very it bursts with water. And if you cook them they become like really syrupy and it's just oh it's so good. It's very sweet. Like just like a sponge of sugar. If that's a, you can never get enough of them. They're hard to, they're only around certain times, but they're really good. You see like this like drool is and kind of slowly <laughs> dripping off the side of its kind of somewhat pulled in chin. How do you know what a strawberry is? I've seen them when I sleep. Yeah, that's right. Well, hopefully that'll get fixed. Yeah. They're worth it. Do you spend much time in the city? So if I ask a question about the city, uh, you might know, uh, or are you just up here all the time? I only go for provisions. I spend most of my time here. Oh, so you wouldn't know, like, I've never been here? Like, what's what's like the best bar or food in the city? Like, you know, these strawberries are great, but like that's, if I wanted to really- That's your second question I get to ask now. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. 
What's a blueberry taste? Like? <laughs> <laughs> As we come to, uh, I can keep that up. <laughs> you are currently ritually casting, and uh, what are you casting? Uh, uh, telepathic bond, which I've only just now realized I could have been casting ritually every single day of this campaign. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. <laughs> well, better. Yeah, you have to know which ones you're uh-huh. 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 All right. But I'm, I'm, it's, I'm sure that ritual has verbal and somatic in all these components. So I'm trying to make it look like I'm just sort of like doing a beat, bop, boop. Yeah, like a power Do down, this. power up, okay, power down. Okay, ten minute ritual cycling. casting. Yes. So we'll say from that point, we're about halfway through the casting. Right. You are searching around for. Uh, through Pate, what are you looking for? I would love to look for, uh, if there's any groupings of armaments, if I can tell vivid like pathways through the outpost and into the city, can I get an idea of machines of war? Just start to try and get like a beat on what okay. they have. Go ahead and roll for Pate's perception. It is through Pate. Uh. I know. Do I get advantage since I have an advantage on abilities checks with this? Technically, it is your perception. I'll allow it. It's my perception, but through his eyes, so I have to roll Correct. his charisma. Oh, yeah. So, in this instance, I would say probably no then. But what if it's a stone thing? It's part of my stone shape. It's stone stuff. It's stone stuff. <laughs> oh, so you have the stones for it. Come on, come on, Pate. <laughs> it was almost a natural 20, too. 10! 10, okay. From this high up, you know, there's, there's faint details. Uh, what he does pick out, the immediate thing he notices is just beyond the, the, the cliff edge, beyond the tower, there is a massive, smooth funnel that leads outward. And uh, you begin to pick up details around this mountain range that surrounds the city. There are multiple other outposts that kind of keep watch in different positions, but beneath each of these, another one of these massive kind of funnels opens up and kind of comes to a stop as it curves down the mountain range, like a massive horn. Like a horn. That sounds like. Hope you never find out. (laughs) But it's like carved into the ground? Carved or built into it, yeah. Cool. <laughs> you hear ringing through the surrounding echo. Um, uh, glancing down into the city, you can see numerous of like winding, tangled streets. This city, for as refined as you maybe expect aspects of uh, a society that's been doing dealings with lewdness and the like. Um, this the surface of this Creviris is fairly empty, and the the structures and makeup of the city itself looks kind of dilapidated, mm-hmm. or at least has suffered the elements for a long time that a lot of its fine details have worn off, or it just elements of it almost remind you of Basaris. In an odd way, and the fact that it it looks like it is in disrepair, and you don't see a bustling series of, of open thoroughfares and central streets, you do see figures moving through, um, but sparingly. Okay, that's as much as Pat I can make out, but. <laughs> don't worry, I got it all right here. Can I have him focus in a little bit more while, if we have a little bit of time, to see if he can specifically seek out passages or entrances to underground thoroughfares? Well, go ahead and see what I can do. Okay. He continues to glide off. Meanwhile, we come back to the top of this tower. Not nearly as sweet, uh, but it's kind of it helps. You can have a lot of them, and they just burst really quick. Uh, and your friend is happy to help if you can answer. She can, she can answer uh, any of these questions. I, I really want to find just some good drink while I'm there. I love it here so far. Well, that's it's been a bad day. 
but I need a drink, and I want to find something real good. Spreaky's Drip. Spreaky's Drip. Good name. Do you know what neighborhood it is? So I don't, I don't want to, I know I already look weird, but I just want to kind of blend in. On this side of the clutch. This side, what's the clutch? Right on the edge of the clutch and the crumble below, you find the drip. <laughs> oh, between the clutch and the crumble. I appreciate that. Uh, one more question you ask, I give you one more. What's an apple taste like? I thought you were gonna go raspberry. That's impressive. It's, I don't know. Oh, I love apples. They're very. Well, this is happening. Yeah, there you go. Um, I wanted to wander out after the Sasquatch-looking individual mm -hmm. and just sort of sidle up, not get the jump on them or anything. Just walk up and stare in the direction that they're staring, and then. Um, can I ask? They told us when we got here to keep our head on the swivel. The the the, the uh, attrition, I think. Jump on you from out of nowhere? Did they make it in this far? Kind of looks over the shoulder towards you. You'll know when they come, or maybe you won't. And he points out, and you can see uh, along the mountain range, there's one section of the hill that, and as he kind of points in that direction, you can see it. It's blackened and crumbled. And you can see there's ruins of what looks to have been an outpost at one time. How'd they do that? They were everywhere. I'm a little green on the. Battlefield. Um, how do you know when they're coming? From what I've been told, it's just kind of a gut feeling. Make a deception check. <laughs> you poked the bear. I'm literally green. Um, huh. 20. Oh! 30, 30 20. Yeah, roll a 19. Kind of looks you up and down, <laughs> spits in the ground. <laughs> Just keep your wits about you, and if you hear something loud and dangerous, you run. I hear that. <laughs> Why are you here? Well, I was having dreams back home, and I met this other lady. She was having them, too, so yeah. we came together, met more. Welcome to the hellhole. Feeling more and more like that every day. How's that work? And I look at his device. He hides it under the cloak. I don't know, how's that work? He looks over at your sheathed weapon. Stick people with it. It's real tiny. Oh my. Anything bigger, I kind of can't lift it. They told me to start small. Man, God be accepting anybody these days. He sits back in his chair and kind of just keep, kind of <laughs> ships his focus away from you. Okay. While this is happening, you are now about seven minutes into this ritual. <laughs> as two of the Rylora from the mid floor begin to descend the steps. Wow. Oh, come on. Get up and fern. Should you get up and go? Should you just yeah. step outside? I'm just going to go outside. I'm uh, just going to walk away. <laughs> you hear in your head We are master. We were not aware we would be have, having an appearance of any of the wheel. What do you require of us? In, in her head or in Imogen's head? No, in Fern's head. <laughs> uh, I look at you and say, what? What is it? What is it? What are they saying? Can I talk to you? Yeah, you can talk to me. I'm in your head. They, they, they wanted to know. They wanted to 
to the master. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you forget? Did you forget? <laughs> no, I didn't. What do you? What do they want? He's just talking to me at the same time. I'm trying to talk to you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't confused. move. Your, put your hands they down. Look at each other. And narrow their eyes a little bit. Know what, what they should do, like if we, ha if they had anything for them to do, because they were like Will Master. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> I need nothing from you. Go about your business. Make a deception check. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Still have advantage, right? Oh, that's a natural twenty! Yeah! Wow! Roll it again. Get another one. Get another one. Okay. Get another one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first roll. This is too good because you don't have advantage. Anymore. Oh, phew! I believe. So when that's the twenty. Do you need to concentrate to ritually cast something? I believe so. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. That it was your first roll. That was twenty-three. Twenty-three. Oh, golly, golly! My mistake. Please. Give our appreciation to the will. And should they be looking for more aid on the ground, wherever eager to be relocated, please. That's clutch. Mm. Yeah, 100%. And one of them kind of look at each other and begin to back up the tower once more, kind of somewhat sheepishly. Phew! Phew. In our heads. <laughs> <gasps> you finish the ritual? <sighs> and then, uh, let's see, do they have to be near me for this to activate? We're not that far. That's true. Oh, yeah, everyone has to be within 30 feet, so I'm just gonna kinda uh -uh. make a quick loop around the tower and try to activate, activate our mental bond if they're how I'll, tall I'll, the tower? I'll, I'll say you can gather everybody from a distance to know where they are and kind of let hey, it. Hey, we're online. We're online. We can talk to each other in our head. <clears throat> oh God! Oh Is my it, God! You could have been ritually I casting. Just, I just figured out how to do this spell today. <laughs> but if you cast another concentration spell, does it break it? No. 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 It works for eight hours now. It's a fifth level spell, so I've only had fifth yeah, level spells for like the it last. It lasts for an hour. Three yeah, levels. It lasts for an hour. No, oh, it lasts for eight, eight hours. hours. It lasts for bond. It says here is one hour. Oh really? Oh. Oh fuck. Really? Oh, you're right. We uh, totally uh, used it like it was eight hours the last time. We did, time. but yeah. you know, well, that, you could have been ritual so casting it this whole time. The whole time. Yeah. Okay. Clutch. Yeah. Very clutch. Can you just keep ritually casting it all day long, like unlimited times? With 10 minutes to cast yeah. it? Yeah, you just have to have 10 minutes to do it. Cool. Rituals are and awesome. And it costs materials each time you do it, depending on the spell. Oh, uh, two eggshells. Great. From so you're going to have to go to a grocer. Yeah. Caleb's I have some eggshells eggs? from my baking materials. That's true, you would. <sighs> but I can probably need some more. Caleb's eyes have rolled backward into his head, out his mouth, and across the desert. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use them as eggshells. Perfect. Chetney's out front just collecting the guy's intestines like a power cord. I couldn't help myself. You <laughs> <laughs> looked at me too funny. <laughs> so have we gleaned, in their heads, have we gleaned as much as we're going to glean from this gleanage? Uh, Should we get the last question? Oh, yeah, ask one more question. Let's get out of here. Pat Tay was doing one more, yeah, one more focused. Was Crisp little sour grape baked in a pie. But uh, <laughs> anything I should do, I don't want to embarrass myself down there. I want to come back. I know that's weird. I can see how this can get old. Like, how do I not just piss everybody off? I tend to piss a lot of people off. And don't talk. That's hard. Anything else? No, that's the question. My turn. Actually, there, I've got to go, but I'll tell you what, if I'm back down this way, which the way things are looking, I will be, I'm going to figure out how to get some fucking fruit up here. Please. Uh, what? I'm already heading down. What? What's up, hair taste like? <laughs> pear! <laughs> Just like staring up. <laughs> we, we all hear that throughout yeah. the tower. You head back down, and there's the, uh, the three, the three Rallor in the middle area. They're now like diligently looking out the windows. They're now very intently looking and holding their post. <laughs> I want to head down with Ashton, but mm -hmm. did, did Pate find anything? Uh, passageways underground? Entrances? 
Roll another perception check for Pate. Come on. Not familiar. Come on, Patty. Roll high. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. Patty T. Pate. Patty T. Patty T. Oh, Pate. Patty works on the real one. Eleven. Yep, that, that'll do it. That sounds like better. There ain't no ways on the ground, sorry. I want to keep looking. Oh, no, no. come on back. Come on back. Okay, hey, where are you? Where are I fucking left you in the tower. I'm heading downstairs because I can't wait for you alone with these weirdos. Okay. He's making his way in. Okay. All right, you all slowly gather back towards the base of the tower. For the time being, from what you can tell, you haven't been sussed out. What are you doing? I gather up and. Could I have used the time that we were here um, <laughs> to put my uh, my circlet back on? I took it off because because. Yeah. And now I Odahan can track us, and if this spell goes away, which it will in four hours, and we don't have another scroll, I want to not be able to be tracked. Okay. Yeah. I'll say. I'll say you can go ahead and, and take the time here as you were sitting about talking, setting up this ritual spell. Uh, it's more of a short rest to go oh, ahead okay. and attune it. So I'd say you can definitely put it on you, but to attune it, you need a little more of a break. Got it. Okay. Saddle up! We're all bonded, right? Yeah. We are. So yeah. in the head, is yeah. there anything that anything else we want to try to unravel here? I like, we got a lot. I've got a place to drink in the city. I've also got a, a bit more of an idea of what <laughs> The jagged edge is. We can run where we can the find will. The clutch. Mm-hmm. This place was called Tyran A, like Tyran A, so, or like T Y R A N, Tyran A. Just the yeah, like letter A. a. Cool. I tell Tyrin them. Like tower a, I tell know. everybody. Um, was able to see there's these outposts, a lot of them scattered all up and down the edges, and they each have these like giant war horns carved mm. into the rock right. and out, right. and it didn't look like many. Uh, much of the population was above the city. Mm. Kind of looks like this city could get blown off the face of the moon with one big gust. It's pretty, pretty raggedy, but I'd be willing to bet most of the Activity. population is mm. underground. And if yeah. they need war horns, at least we know that every single thought isn't just thunk across the distance every second of the day. Yeah, that's so true. They have need of that. That's true. I get the feeling knots are more, uh, thoughts are more like needles in haystacks at this point. You gotta know what you're looking for, you gotta be looking for it, otherwise it's kinda like you, it's just noise. Yeah, unless you're someone like Ludinus who can project like he did all over Xandria. <laughs> I look at the Trishy Scrabble. Nothing. Okay. Should we head into? The city. Yeah. And boy, next time we come here, we have to bring a fuck ton of food, because boy, dreams apparently have made everybody really weird about it's food. It's true, we they've all asked about food. I don't know. We bought our way through any place with some produce. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next oh, time. That's a good thing to know, actually. Yeah. Yeah. that fucking bag. I, 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 I don't know if, if what we're doing here, Fern, is gonna keep being a good idea, because I, know. That I can't last tell, one really like, scared me. really, when they're looking at you, I'm like, what are they talking to her? I don't yeah, know. We're already yeah. I almost so. just talked out loud, because I got scared. Yeah. And I was like, shit, I don't know if she's hearing. It Which worked. Was, it did work. And sure. if we were and telepathically bonded, it yeah. would have telepathically bonded. It would have been <laughs> much easier. That's true. That's true. Now, yeah. Maybe it'll be yeah, fine now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, but well, I only you, have this you got now, to figure so out what's wrong with it in front of back. six people mm-hmm. rather than probably like fifteen seven. minutes, like twenty or so minutes from this right. point. Yeah. Should I keep it up? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, why not? Let's all circle around Fern like we're her guards. Yeah. Great idea. Great idea. Great idea. All right, okay. and we head to mm. Graris. How far away is it? Try to find this. I mean, you're bar? you're right on the edge of this mountain range. You can see where like this in. this cleft valley where the majority of the city sits, uh, near where those horns were. You did also see there were like walkways that head that like went deep into the mountain range and led it straight into the city. Okay, I'll kind of guide people from what I saw. Right. I guess. Does, does that mean we're just going to be zigzagging between more of these towers the entire way? Like, tell, yeah, like if, I think yeah, the towers walls. go around the city, yeah. right? Yeah, to ring yeah. around the okay. tower. Could I get some sort of a gauge of distance between tower versus tower? Uh, there may be about a quarter mile to a half mile between each one. Okay. Okay, and we're just kind of going like this from the tower down to the city. Down into the city itself, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, did we notice? Is there like one big gate for the city, or are there several little gates for the city? 
Uh, from what you can tell, there's only really one major entrance to the city. That's the opening of the valley. The rest of it is just completely ringed in this mountain range, uh, where all mm-hmm. these, it's, it's mm-hmm. just all kind of built into this kind of Helm's Deep-esque, Martian Helm's you know. Deep. Yep, mm-hmm. like kind of sunken into this space. I think it's going to be very apparent what the jagged edge and what the clutch is. That's my, mm-hmm. that's my right. feeling. Very apparent. Here we go. Yeah, let's get yep, away. Yep, okay. yep. Descending deeper into the city, as the uh, light begins to shift through the afternoon, you can sense the the bit of sunlight that comes uh, around here to lighten the space and the kind of bright glow of Exandria, ever locked and present above, uh, begins to darken as one of the nearby storms begins to threaten the horizon. And certain if it's going to hit the city or just pass by enough to darken the space, like it's having a slight brownout. Um, but heading down, you can start seeing more of the people of the village kind of leaping from Tower Strand to Edge Walkway. And you can see now where all these various towers are, there are rooftop platforms that almost like set among these, these tall spires that kind of mark probably no wider than maybe 10 feet at certain points. And these platforms themselves have like rope bridges some sort of rope-like material bridges attaching them, and those cables that you saw connecting, they're just long strips of this leather-like material. Some of them look like they were colored once, and the color's been stripped through time and storm. But this is just a an odd like rope-climb network of an upper portion of the city that sets a level of shade over the main bottom street-level portion where all of the majority of living spaces, buildings, structures, and presumably businesses are all jammed together like these odd pod clusters. The kind of ominous sense of silence begins to break with the sound of laughter and some conversation from the street below. Still silent comparison to a bustling city, but signs that not all the populace sits in quiet, mind-linked conversation. You glance down and see in the nearest alcove there is what looks like a like a mud pit, and a number of small creatures being kept there, and you hear the laughter again, and it looks like a cluster of small children, kind of just hiding in the shadow, laughing, and currently petting or brushing one of these small, shaded creatures. This is the nearest approach, as you conjecture on how best to step foot into the core of Kraviris. We're gonna take a break. Oh, oh man, oh. we're at the <laughs> gates. There's like no guards. There's no just like guards blocking the entrance. It's just like. Well, you guys are coming down from the outpost yeah, yeah, oh. right now. Um, the main entryway you haven't gotten a good look at because you dodged it to go up into the mountain range. Got Fish, it. have that scrap ball on speed dial. I we just already mm-hmm. thinking it. I'll probably be annoying at the amount of times when I say I look at my ball. That's fine. He yeah. uses a widget. Uh, it's, it's a fidget spinner. Yeah. Kind of in, like, like doing the. Doing the labyrinth roll? Yeah, the Bowie. Yep. Well, take this break to go ahead and figure out what your plans are when you step <laughs> in, because you're just about there. Yeah. You've skirted some, uh, some pretty interesting possible uh, danger. I like that. But yeah, we'll be back here in a few minutes. We'll see you shortly. Delve into a new tabletop role-playing game of investigative horror with the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook using the Illuminated World System by Darrington Press. Roam the the turn-of-the-century inspired setting of the Fairlands, including the bustling city of New Fair and the ancient ruins of Old Fair below. Assemble a circle of investigators within the paranormal secret society of Candela Obscura. You'll analyze strange and horrifying events, fight back against dangerous phenomena, and contain the bleed that spreads from corruptive magic. 
Choose from 10 custom character sheets to empower your investigations and explorations. Use tactical intuition and brawn with the soldier specialty. Use your charm with finesse and flair as the magician specialty. Or study and practice mystical arts as an occultist. Explore districts of New Fair, competing organizations, four full assignments, and dozens of example assignments to inspire you. If you choose to brave the role of Game Master, this guide contains everything needed to pave the way for your Candela Obscura investigators. Offered in both a standard edition as well as an ornate limited edition for collectors, the Candela Obscura core rulebook contains 204 art-filled pages, including maps, items, immersive notes, mysteries, and plenty more to power your very own story. Keep this tome close, for the knowledge obtained may be the key to protecting you, your allies, and the Fairlands. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. You need this? You probably need this. This is pretty badass. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. Oh, so comfy cozy. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Catastrophe lies at the edge of the vast chasm for any circle daring enough to tempt fate. Though when stakes are high, great risk is a calculation worth taking. A long-lost and dangerous relic has surfaced from the depths of time. The assignment we've handed to our investigators is simple. Parlay with the dealer, recover the artifact, and return to the Pharos. But a circle is at its most vulnerable when a threat is underestimated. And for those lucky enough to return home, serenity awaits. The Circle of the Crimson Mirror, assignment number 4149, Seeking Serenity. of increasingly insane escalating circumstances while struggling to follow their warped moral compasses and do what they think is hopefully the right thing. Can the trust get worse somehow? Can Phineas get less worse? How much longer can Lark outrun her past? Are there any objectively good guys in this story other than Lark Weep? How can any of these threads possibly be resolved with only one more season to go? And we still don't even know what happened with that dang moon. Are we ever gonna get some answers? Yes. As a matter of fact, we will. The third and final season of Midst unfolds February 14th. Listen to the pure sound experience anywhere you stream podcasts or watch illustrated video episodes on the Critical Role YouTube channel. In the meantime, you can follow us at Midst Podcast or join the fold on Midst.co to get early access to episodes, behind the scenes bonus content, music downloads, digital artwork, and more. Everything's been leading to this. We'll be with you to the end. Do you trust us?
and it's me, Jester. So the Traveler and I were going to tell you guys all about subscribing to Twitch, but um, <laughs> it sort of seems like he's not really here right now, which is so stupid. Traveler! Traveler! Artie! <laughs> you know what? It's fine. I can do it by myself. With myself. <laughs> I invoke duplicity. Hello, Jester. Hi, Jester. Okay, so what we're going to do today is tell the people at home all about the good stuff they get when subscribing to Twitch. Oh, I don't know what Twitch is, but that sounds good. Let's go. <gasps> no, that's perfect, because this works for you too then. Okay, so there's a professionally moderated live chat. Mm. And if you subscribe, you can post the links in the chat. <gasps> like a link to a cool hamster video? Exactly like that. <laughs> so what we do here is tell like really cool stories, right? And sometimes like crazy shit happens when we're telling those stories. And people that subscribe get special emotes so you can express how you feel. What if you live on the side of Exandria where it's really late mm -hmm. and you're like, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a few seconds and then it's two hours and the music is playing and you're like, oh no, I missed the whole show. Oh, no, that's a great question. Well, if you subscribe to Twitch, then you can just watch all of our VODs as soon as the live broadcast ends. So cool, right? So cool. I know. Another really cool thing is you can gift subscriptions to people. Like, I could buy a subscription for you, Duplicate Jester, and for other... What are you doing? Look what I found! Oh my gosh. Paintbrushes. I could draw a dick. Oh, I can't. Well, technically, uh, technically that might break Twitch's terms of service, so. But there's no rule against, like, drawing chubby little snakes. <laughs> yeah, or, or a really long balloon sore. <laughs> yeah, or like a really thick rope with like two honky knots at the oh, end of it. A cucumber with, with two tomatoes. Yeah. A banana, you know, sitting next to an onion and another an mushroom with like a little cat. A on. mini dog with just two feet. <laughs> yeah. Artie, where are you? Should we go look for him? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, don't forget to subscribe to Critical Role. Okay, let's go. Okay. And welcome back. Wow. So I hit the microphone. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Descending into the shaded interior of the main streets of the village, you head down these stone steps that eventually break into this kind of side alley where the many of the like towering clustered structures basically block out the majority of the sky above you, other than the kind of winding alleyways that push through beneath. As soon as you begin to step down, 
You can hear that giggling again by that little like mud patch that was situated. And you see these two smaller kids that are kind of like looking from the side at the rest of you. What do the children look like? Yeah. Uh, one of them, you can see, it looks like a young Rylora, kind of about waist high, and the other looks to be uh, a you can only assume it's a Bormodo because of the the rounder shape. So the two of them together look, have like a Mario and Luigi sort of like visual aesthetic. Awesome. As they're both kind of like looking off to the side. I'll go up to them. As you approach, they both kind of like <laughs> and start to walk back a bit before the uh, or the the Bormodo like begins to to run off. But the Rylor grabs the collar and like keeps him from going and pulls him back in. Smiling moon to you. <laughs> Hi. Uh. We're new. We're new around here. Um, they look at each other. Are you, are you playing a game? The Rylora kind of looks up with a big smile. You can see the the wide, dark eyes looking towards you, and a smile. You can see like the small layers of serrated teeth on the inside of the mouth as it kind of puts its hand up. We are, we were washing the rindons. Rindons? Do we know what that is? I haven't a, heard that before. Yeah. No. What's a rindon? Oh. These are the rindons. And points over, and you can see there are these like hog like creatures that have these mole like hands that are like, mm -hmm. you see now there's like these weird kind of dug alcoves in the side where the kind of that mud pit is. And oh, you can see there's like two of them kind of like laying in it and kind of rolling and cooling themselves off in this kind of muck in the shade. And one of them was one of the ones they were kind of like brushing. You can see they have like these. Thick, kind of mud crusted layers of uh, long fur that kind of goes over their bodies. Mm. They look kind of like moles, but like with a snub hog like nose with tusks. Do they like being cleaned? No, they, they like to be brushed. That's how you clean them. <clears throat> Are they your pets? No, they just live here. In your head, Fern, I say. That'd be a good look for you, Fernie. Oh, good idea. Oh, yeah. I should take that look sometime. The uh, young Momoto, like, you could, the, the masculine features give you the sense it's a young boy. It's just like wide eyed, staring, not making any noise. The, you can figure the, uh, the um, Laura child uh, kind of elbow him in the side and be like, say something. Uh, hi. That's the Ryloran? Uh, well, the Ryloran's been talking oh, to you. This is another Momoto. And has the Ryloran kid been talking with his his with, voice? With her. her oh, her with, voice. With her actual mouth, yes. Okay. How, how do you as well? What are what are your names? I, I am Aisha. This is Kelito. It's Asha. Hi. Oh. Aisha or Asha? Asha. 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 Asha and Kelito. The uh, the boy Kelito goes. Uh, is it true that you're the dreamers? They, that they are, they are dreamers. I'm actually just a dream helper. Um, but yeah, they're they're dreamers, all right. You're made of metal. I am made of metal. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Turn your turn your lights on for him. Oh yeah, I'll cast light and turn on. Cool. <laughs> He's like scattered off a little bit and they start giggling, <laughs> <laughs> kind of pushing each other over for a little bit. Yeah, you can you can you can touch me if you want. The rather one reached out with like kind of the clawed fingers and kinda of like <laughs> kinda of scrapes a little bit. <laughs> mm. okay. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all kinda of new and super shy. Is this your home? Yeah. We live here in the clutch. The clutch. The That's this neighborhood thing. here? Or just the whole outer area of the city. The clutch is all of this. And as they point out, you can see like all the various buildings that are clustered like groups of eggs. Wait, what's it like? What do you do around here? Uh, right now, we find games to play. And we try and stay out of the open areas when the storms come, and the hunters come from the the storm shadows, and then. We need to stay out of uh, the way with the newcomers, and when the uh, Imperium comes by, we have to just not say or do anything. Do you, um, That's pretty smart. 
Do you all do you all go underground, right? Well, we is, don't, we, no, we're not allowed to. You're not allowed to. Is it like something you can only do when you're an adult, or? No, we 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 are clutch folk. Oh, oh clutch, clutch folk are not <clears throat> allowed. We're and the little boy goes, well, is, our family's not important enough. Oh. Well, that doesn't seem very fair, does it? Is the, is the, part, is the part down below called the crumble? Is, is that what it's called? No, no. Uh, this, this here, uh, the, there's the clutch, and there is the banners, and points up to all the like, towers. Uh, and there is, um, down below here, let me get the actual bill up here. Uh, down below is called Vatera Craviris. All of the above is uh, the Keluma Craviris. Keluma Craviris, and what the, the lower was what again? Vatera. Vatera. But don't don't go into the crumbles. How come? It's dangerous. The crumbles is, are the big cracks. The big cracks. Oh. That's where the, the rougher folk live. Oh. Okay. What a buddy is. Can I pull, I'm gonna pull out a couple of the um, good berries that we picked, okay. and I'm gonna hold them up for each. Would y'all like to try something from Alexandria? They look at each other. <laughs> they reach over and take how many do you have in each hand? I just have one in each hand. Okay, they each take one. They look at each other. <laughs> now, ordinarily, do not take food from strangers. No, That's a yeah. bad idea. You shouldn't do that. But we're fine. We're, we're okay. Yeah, those are very good for you. How long have the clutch folk lived in the clutch? <laughs> But I mean, <laughs> what's your people's history? <laughs> no, but like, how, do, how are babies made? <laughs> We've always lived just right around the corner. Right, and your folks, and your folks, folks, a long time. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask y'all a question? Yeah. Do you know of a place called the Jagged Edge? No. No. All right. No, Inside so. check. No, Inside <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> You're your lying fucking kids. Yeah. Tell me where the bar is. Okay. Um. We've got trouble. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Oh, a whisper. A whisper. I don't, a whisper. I'm, I'm, I'm not supposed to read this for a whisper. I'm supposed to read it from battle. Oh, then don't. Don't. Maybe I should. Maybe I will. Law and no! Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the kimono. They don't rush in. They don't rush in. Are we being watched? <laughs> Make a perception check. Good call. What? Oh, Jesus. Was that cocked? Yeah, it's cocked. It's cocked. Living on the edge. It's worse. Ooh, ooh, it's not too shabby. Okay, yeah, tw I see, yeah, I see it. 24. 24. No one's watching you at the moment. You do notice that the Ry the little Ryloran girl is kind of looking past you all right now and kind of eyes wide towards Chetney. Towards Chetney, I kind of uh, shove Chetney to the front. <laughs> She's taller than you by about two inches and it's like, you're so small but so old. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When you've lived as long as I do, you grow up. And then down. <laughs> how 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 long have you been living? Uh, close to four hundred years, I think. What about you? Seven hundred years. <laughs> That's incredible. Wait, is that true? <laughs> You're really tall for seven hundred years old. I bet a lot of people could learn something from you. Pretty smart. The brains of the operation, this one. You know, you're talking to a master craftsman, the best toy maker in Alexandria. Yes. They look at each other. Do 
you know what toys are? I've, we've. Holy shit. I think I've had a, I think I've had a dream once. <gasps> they don't have toys, Chad. You could be the best toy maker on two planets. <laughs> Slow-mo reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Planetary Perfectly rocks. balanced rocking horse. I take it, I place it on the ground. Wait! I tilt it to one side, let it go. They look at each other and kind of look at it just bright eyed and. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's yours. Mm. Now you'll have to share. Be good. The, the small Bermondo boy, uh, Kalito. We could share. Gotta <laughs> 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 handle it with love and care. Psychic like lamp. Do you feel how, <laughs> how exciting that was when you saw it move? <laughs> your job is to spread that joy. So take it to other kids, show it to your folks, show them what you found. But you have to take care of it. That horse is your responsibility now. They both look at it. Horse. Where did you find this? I made it. The only thing I didn't give it is a name. The uh, older kind of Rallower girl goes. I'm going to name it Burs. <laughs> Borse Borse? the horse. Oh Borse the horse. That is adorable. That is a Borse. blended name. That is a choice name. It is great. <clears throat> you said you didn't know where the jagged edge was, right? Yeah. But what about Sp Spreaky's drip? No, it's a, it's like this a bar. Y'all probably wouldn't know where bars are. Is there like a main part of town, you know, where people go and eat? We're, and we're not supposed to go far from here. Where do adults usually walk to when they are going to? Look at each other. And they both kind of point further in the city, uh, and they get distracted looking at Bors again before they look back. Can can you make more of these? I can, but it takes time, and the more I make, the less special they are. So take care of this one, because. I know when you're sleeping, oh. and I know when you're awake. <laughs> and if you're good, for goodness sake, I'll bring another one around. What's your name? Chetney. Claus. Chetney Claus. Chetney Claus. No, not Claus, just Chetney. Chetney Claus. Chetney Claus. You know, Claus. Claus. All right. It's pretty clever. Fucking Wow, that's, that's been there that's, the whole that's time. CC <laughs> Pop Industries on the Moon, LLC. <laughs> they both kind of stop for a second and look. The Santa Claus of the Moon. Worried for a second. Uh, and they look back, and you can see from around the corner there's uh, a Ryloran kind of wearing scrappy clothing uh, and kind of a heavy over the shoulder kind of cloak. Looks over and sees you all gives this motion and the two kids come rushing to them and kind of dart around the side. It steps forward and you hear in your voice, and you're in your head, because you're the one who's closest to it. I'm sorry, what do you need? Oh, uh, nothing, we were just uh, imparting a gift from Exandria to your children? Ch child in the friend. Hmm. We don't want any trouble. Oh, no trouble at all. There's no trouble here. They were showing us a kindness, we were returning it. After all, all we have is each other here, don't you think? Sure. That doesn't seem like a common sentiment for you? Im Imperium is needing to put everything towards the coming move, so. The coming, yes, the coming move, yes. Yes, of course. Well, even in these moments of great import, 
the little things that count. The Imperium can be very object-focused, objective-focused. We're part of a task force to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Don't smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we don't know anything about any of that, so we promise we had. We were never here. They're just children. Oh, of course. Is there a place called the Jagged Edge around? I'm so sorry. We'll let you leave after that. <clears throat> you hear the voice in your head. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jagged Edge is on the far end. Um, at the base of the sculpture of the Vidorsh skull. Gotcha, thank um, you. We will not take your name so that you don't have to worry about that. We don't need any of that. We'll get out of your hair. What was the skull? What skull? Vidorsh. The Vidorsh. The Dolsh. Dolsh? The Dolsh skull. Is that an Vidorsh? Vidorsh? Vidorsh is what was said. Vidorsh. Vidorsh. <laughs> Have we heard Vidolsh yet? Is that yeah. an animal? Oh my god, stop saying Vidolsh. <laughs> Vidolsh. Vidolsh. Okay. You don't look good, we don't look good. Yeah. <laughs> Please, feel, feel free. That's, yeah, you, go ahead. Enjoy the gift. Thank you for your time. <laughs> the Mylorin kind of turns back to the kids and quickly just kind of disappears around the corner. Okay. Hmm. Gotta be careful. I don't know if that gift is gonna survive that encounter. The horse? Yeah. The horse? Horse, horse the horse? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. one of the exploding ones. They'll all be dead. <laughs> Are there Rindon still puttering around out here? Uh, you do see a, the few of them that are kind of off in the shaded corner there. Okay. Kind of like laying in the, one of them's laying its back, kind of like settled in the mud, and it's kind of drying a little bit. How big are they? Obsessed. Uh, they're about maybe four feet from end to end. They're not they're massive. Here. And they're like, how high? Like two, about two feet. Two feet. Okay. That's tasty. No chance. What do you mean, no? Primal. Are we giving our real names here? I would. You mean Bell's <laughs> house? <clears throat> no, like our act, our just names. What can they do with a name? Well, a lot. I, mean, Odahan I think Odahan knows, Odahan knows our names Spranum. and knows our descriptions. Yeah, but you know? don't have a brand to uphold. There was an exception to the no, rule. No, sure. Chetney Claws is important. You can be Bimogen. I'll be um, brush cut Bef brass. <laughs> oh, are we taking the the borscht uh, name? Uh -huh. uh -huh. I like this. Bod one. Bodna. Yeah. Bodna. <laughs> They'll never catch on. Burn. I'm burn. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Hey, you burn. Hey, burn. <laughs> wow. All right. My Let's walk towards the jagged edge. Okay. Trusty Scribble. Okay. Nothing there. Anybody in the streets? Uh, there are people in the streets that are walking through. It's not heavily, it looks like as, as the recent dust storm has passed, like a few more folks, pardon me, are wandering out. And most of the folk you see here are a mixture of uh, Rylorans, of uh, Bamordos, uh, of the, uh, even a hand smatter, handful of smatterings of the kind of gray furred, elongated folk that you had encountered uh, by the the kind of outpost you first came to. And uh, looking around and <coughs> seeing the few few folk that are, are traversing here, do they seem sort of outside of the whole, mm, military push isn't the right word, but the... We're making people the nervous. Is that Many the of the ones that you see here look to be just civilians. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them look a little rough, uh, thin, provision, starved. Mm -hmm. In some cases, some of them are just kind of gathering what they can. And you see a lot of them, they're like darting from underhang to underhang, trying to make whatever movement they're doing quick. And then uh, about th three minutes into walking, you see a lot of them scatter. Oh, should we scatter? They're scattering. Should we scatter? Yeah. We scatter. If it isn't us, then we should scatter. <laughs> uh, I agree, yeah. Okay. That's all mental. Would you all make yeah, a, yeah. like a group stealth check, please? Mm -hmm. Do we have things? Do we have no, we don't have things? Because it's been way too long. <laughs> a real right? stealth it's check. Ooh, I love it. Has Let's it go. been an hour since we? Yeah, it's been an hour. Jesus Christ, why do I suck yeah. so bad at stealth? Oh, you're on my end of things. Oh, oh uh, 19. Uh, uh, 13. Six! Oh, wow, here we go. Yikes. Natty one. Yeah! Yep, that we fucked it. Nine, nine. Oh, wait, I have an advantage because I have an advantage on ability checks. Right. 
That's a little oh, bit better. Two. 15. Why do you okay. have advantage on a village check? Because I sucked stole, a ring. Because I sucked in Because you ring. stole a ring. I didn't stole it. We were all in agreement on that no, one. No, 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 I didn't stole it. I stole the soul. <laughs> yeah. That we don't know yet. 14. Ooh. What did you roll? 13. Oh, God. Ooh, not Why not great. Great. No. I have disadvantage on all ability checks. Oh, that's right. I don't. For two days. Yeah. Good. All right, consequences. All right. So you all kind of dart off into the nearby shadows as everyone else kind of scatters out of the way. And you can see there are <clears throat> the sound of scratching on stone as two Avedons kind of start trudging through the street. You can see them harnessed up and riding on their back. There are two Rhyalora kind of just helming the, the front as the beings are like <laughs> You hear that like weird sucking, sniffing sound. Uh, they do not have visible nostrils, but you can see there's like a weird pocket underneath where the mouth is that kind of like <laughs> like opens as it hails in to kind of take in some sort of a scent or something else as it looks around or like moves its shoulders around. It's <clears throat> Taking in the vicinity, there's a few other figures kind of stepping behind it as it moves through, and you can see there. Uh, it looks like there is a, like a wheeled container of some kind that's being pulled by uh, a singular juggernaut, who's just kind of like walking it behind as they do, like heading in from the entryway from the city, from the like the front part, as they're moving through this main street. Um, one of the Abaddon's kind of like. Do these things have eyes, or do you think they're just using like? You do not see sense? eyes anywhere. Any nostril slits? Just the breath hole, right? Does it see? Is that the natural one? The oh no, the Me. lady, the smelly lady. As you kind of describe to me where you hid. I hid. Um, I tried to just walk into a door, but the door was locked. So, like, <laughs> <Okay. just laughs> so like yep, into the door. <laughs> As you're like trying to get the, the door to work there, and there's like like there's no knob on it. There's like a handle, but it's like it looks like it's being blocked from the other side, or it's locked in. It's not like, even a door. I don't even know. What this <laughs> like. <is. laughs> And you just hear like behind you, and the kind of the warmth of breath on the entirety of the back of your shoulders. You kind of slowly turn around, and you can see just the wide, kind of tooth-filled mouth of the uh, Avedon right there in front of you, and one Rylorn who's kind of sitting on top, looking down at you with its dark eyes. And its kind of head, you know, bony crest kind of points upward to this curve with detailed kind of paint or like tattoo marks across down the front. It's wearing like some heavy uh, metal and bone plated shoulder bits. This kind of holds the reins on the top of it. And it looks down and you hear in your head You're out in strange places, Vanguard. What of it? What is your business? I really don't think that's any of your business. There have been a number of rising attacks across this city. We're on alert. I think it is very much our business. Where have the attacks been? <laughs> Answer my question, Exandrian. Wait, am I still a Rylorin? No, 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 that was probably thing. gone. Okay, okay. That's probably good. Um, could you ask me one more time? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who are you? And what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Can I look up? Is there any, like, you said the buildings are crumbling, right? Yeah, there's the, the, the there's rougher aspects of. The outside looks like it's been worn and sandblasted by the dust storms as they come through. Does it look like anything, buildings up high, look loose at all, or? Make a perception check. And it's still really quiet around here, except for us and this group. It's near silent. Everyone else scattered, and currently it's just the, this one troop that's kind of heading through the city. 
and full spaghetti western. I I I came here because I am Brutus born, and I was called mm -hmm. here. So I um. I, I don't fully know what I'm doing here yet, but um. I know I'm supposed to be here for the beating heart. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Dang. <sighs> persuasion, okay. 16. Oh, not bad. The uh, Avedon kind of <laughs> He kind of just settles in towards you. Uh, as you put your hand up, may I? I the dog. It, <laughs> like snaps, but like an inch from your fingers. Who are you under? Who is your commanding officer, Vanguard? How long have you been here? Only like four hours, maybe, maybe longer than that. Um, I don't really know how long we've been here. I've been oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> um, Do I see any loose bills? <laughs> What'd you roll? 12. 12? I mean, there's two nearby towers that look like they've, you know, they're kind of rough looking. It's kind of a gamble. I am going to cast telekinesis. Oh boy. Okay. And I'm gonna double my spell distance. Okay. And I'm just gonna try to bring part of the building that's starting to crumble loose to where it falls. I don't wanna attack them, I just want it to make it seem like the buildings are falling apart. I want a loud fucking crash. Okay. Hmm. As you're doing that, the entity looking at you, the Rylorn is kind of glaring down at you, says, we'll clarify this. You have to come with us. Okay. Sure. All right, right, so you watch there. as, uh, are you walking away from the door? Yes. Okay. How many of them are there? There's. You see the two Avedons with Phylorans riding on them, and there is a juggernaut that's behind them pulling some sort of an apparatus. That's all you can see at the moment, but you only have a view of just around that edge. So two beasts, two riders, and a juggernaut. And Correct. We're in a wide open space that's being watched by two dozen guard towers with big fuckers. Right, which is why I'm not trying to deliver. Like winding alleys and roads and such with us. some buildings in the way, so it's not like completely we're in wide open. But mini canyon. So you hear that? We're not completely we open. Cover, right? we're, yeah, we're not, we're not we out there. We could throw down and we'll get away with it. I think so. I need you to go ahead and roll a d20 and add your spell attack mod, or your uh, your spell modifier, which I believe is your charisma five. I'm just watching. Spell attack is plus 10. Uh, well, so, no, not your spell attack, your spell modifier. Modifier, right. We're all, are we all um, sufficient? Like, can we see this happening, more or less, from our hidey places? I think most of you have, have, have hidden. You can all, like, see this happening. Uh, so I don't know. 30, if there's a 60 second conversation at this point. Yeah. We're just in hiding places. We can also to beard it. in our heads, theoretically. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, 13. Okay. You see bits of rock and stone like. It's not quite coming free. You're going to have to spend a little more time to try and pull it down. Okay. Um, Are they look? Did they, did they notice that at all? They're focused on you. Um, I am going to. Um, Wild shape into a fly. Okay. Oh boy. And just try to fucking scram. Okay. <laughs> into a fly. You immediately transform. There's a moment where the Rhyloran kind of <gasps> pulls back and the Avidhan's kind of <laughs> and it's trying to oh snap you up in its massive jaws Ooh, the minute you begin to pull away. No, it's great. That it's is going to be a 22 to hit. Oh boy. Oh. Well, it was a good idea. Um, oh, wait, fly, can, fly. I can use my, my. What? I, I, do I get a reaction? You do, but okay. it has to be something you can do in fly form. There wasn't the captain on the fly. That's right. That's right. Because I can't use. I can't use. When I'm in wild shape, I can't use my spells. spells my Correct. spells. Damn it. Fucking fuck. Okay. Dead eye hits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that is going to be 
12 points of piercing damage okay. as it slams down onto your body. Oh gosh. Your fly, I don't think, has more than a hit point. Probably and you not. immediately <laughs> return to your form in the dark and closed toothy space that is the mouth of the Avatar. Oh, I'm really blowing. All right, now we're going into. Oh, fuck. I tried, I tried. Chetney, Orem, and Imogen are ready to join you on your adventures. Oh. Bring home these cuddly companions today. Check out the Bells, Hells plushies, or plushes, at whizkids.io slash bells, hells, plush. Plushes. Just bells, hells, we're done. The slash bells, hells, plush. Oh boy. We're fighting on the moon. Is rolling for initiative something that loses, that gains disadvantage, or no, out of curiosity? It's an ability check, yes. Ooh. It is an ability check, so. Okay, so I, it's normal for oh, me then. Oh, God. So we are rolling for initiative? Yeah. Yep. In this? We are. Yeah. All right. So for the sake <laughs> of this. So this was where that the sucks. figures were. Ooh, look at that. That is a natural 20 where it's borderline wasted. Ah, uh, it's not wasted because I get a bonus from it, so thanks. This is oh, the really? figure here. Cool. And first. Did you take one earlier when she woke up? I did, but it only lasts a minute. Ah, looks like. Nice here, though. My. The group minis are elsewhere. So oh, I'll... no, where are they? I think they got. Isn't that some of them? That's no, small. those are all oh. critters. Yep. Some That's all right. I got backups here. I got backups here. No problem. I'm sure they're on their way right now, just because of Find them in. random, I random humanity. I see people running. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mini down. Yep. All right. So, Fern, you would be there, but you are currently devoured. Are they? Can they actually? Are they big enough to devour? Oh, well, the, the mini is a proxy. Okay, just, got, just <laughs> so it's bigger than that. Put it in my head. Than, oh yeah, because you'd be riding them. They're like the size of a horse. Here, right? oh yeah. Okay, I'll, uh, okay. I'll go ahead and here. This will make it easier. It's a little more of a size thing. This will help. Oh, oh, they're yeah, big. Yeah, okay. okay. Woof. Is that a hippo? Well, there's a size thing. The size of a whole boy. Oh, that's big. a baby rhino. These biggies. That's a baby rhino. <laughs> that's a big. Fucking All right. I would. Parker? Yeah. So now, for the rest of you, choose where you are hiding in this space. Oh boy. Largely over here. Mm. Oh, we wouldn't have mm. scatter scattered? The minute you guys kind of like pushed off to this side to hide from where everyone was scattering away from, this was kind of where it would be. So mm -hmm. Were there in doors this area. and stuff to jump into the. There's no like windows to jump into. Not from this position. I'll be I, like, I guess, tucked into this. That's where I was going to say, too. Oh, is okay. it? But we could have Yeah, we could tuck together. in together. Yep. Okay. I'll say that I want. There's stairs there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I like crept, crouched on the stairs. Already. Um, I might have just been in the rocks right behind, uh, uh, right over here. I think. Over here. Uh, actually, that's uh, that would have been too far away, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, probably behind the like. See the uh, on your uh, towards you, uh, mm -hmm. underneath the window behind the stakes. Over like, here. Yeah, a little closer though. Like, yeah, like okay. using those for some cover. Got it. Chetney. I'll go Passage. under the tent. Oh my god. Okay. There's a little, uh, there's a little yeah. door under there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those are buildings the, uh, extend up and up and up and up super high. Correct. Yeah. Uh, I had rolled a six stealth, so I'll just be in right behind Fern, just right behind Fern in that sort of alleyway back roll? there. Kind of back For here? stealth. Yeah. Okay. Not great. Fifteen. Okay, I would probably be in front of Laudna because I rolled like dog balls. <laughs> like dog balls. Like dog balls. Oh, yeah, I rolled dog a balls. Nine. 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 Dog balls. Like dog balls? You mean beautiful? I think these are the same. I think these are the same. Uh, 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 pipe, pipe borders. I, I think these are the same pipe borders from the Titan Stone Knuckles uh, fight from Box Machina. Oh really? I think they are. The same what? These are. Uh, the I think he made those with toothpicks. Back yeah, the those. Day, I think those are the, the those are the uh, uh, things they used to make uh, the bound of the fight. Those, those those are actually more official ones. The ones I, okay. I still have the ones that I made back okay. then. Okay. I was like, are those the ones from? Yours <laughs> look just as good. There we go. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate. What's that. our game plan here? Are we just trying to get Fern and run? I, Sorry, I, I'm pulling I out my. Thought I, I actually. I was am. trying to make a loud noise because I remember those guys don't like loud noises. I wanted to make them rear up and I think cause we some to, chaos. Oh, I got them up. I, 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 I yeah, think that's if true. If possible, true. it would be better to just get rid of these guys right now, so that there's no one to report that they're, they're. Oh, interesting. I think I think we clean up our mess quick okay. before it becomes a bigger mess. 
Sorry Get rid of that. the right lines. To find yeah. the right elements there. All right, so 25 to 20. 22. 22. So that's Rollies. Uh, Rollies. Not Dex. Well, Rollies is more fun. You guys make your choice. Sure, Rollies. Two, good take it. 18. So wait, does that make me first? Yep. Fuck. Got it up. Alrighty. Um, 20 to 15? 17. Uh, 15. 14. So, sorry. Mm-hmm. And then Fern. Fern. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> uh, Chetney? Seven. Question? Four. Alrighty. Okay. This is a vibe. <laughs> I am not nearly as helpful as I normally would be. Alrighty, so top of it is Laudanum with Orm on deck. Jeez. Okay, I don't have a plan, so we're trying to clear five we're seconds. Clear this clear this up is what we're thinking, not mm-hmm. run. Well I'll say it'll be easier to run once we have a firm, but I I think I think running puts the whole city on high alert. Mm-hmm. For at least Fern, but there's worse things I suppose. That's a good charges. point. Just, Grab her and run. Shove bodies in the building if we silently took them down. Silently take them down. It's a shot. I mean, that's not my advice. I don't know what to do. What's doing, lad? Okay. I think we overestimate their telepathic abilities. Since you were being up front, actually. So. Oh, telepathic. Silently. I don't, I don't, I don't think charmed? they can like sound the. I think they wouldn't need giant horns if they could sound the alarm throughout. I don't know, but I just think it. there's. I think because. Silently yeah, means go. I probably ah! shouldn't throw a fireball on them, right? No, not that. <laughs> people wouldn't scatter if there were already people watching, though. Okay, first and foremost, I'm going to quicken oh. a spell. I'm going to cast Bane. Okay. Nice. On. Scatter means people. Uh, a hardly thing is definitely you can target one additional creature for one slot. An above. additional creature. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four. Uh, fuck it. I'll cast Bane. At yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll cast Spain at third level and debuff every single one of them. Alrighty, mm. so working on the yes. Juggernaut. Cool. Uh, that's going to be a sixteen. Fail. Alrighty. Yes. Other one in there. Fail. Second one over there. That's going to be a seventeen. Seventeen is the check. Okay, so this one succeeds, but okay. both of these guys. Bane. And Bane. Nice. Alrighty. And then. And the uh, dogs. Fail. And fail. Okay. Bane. So minus four to all their shit. Nice. Minus D4 there. <laughs> all I gotta do is just walk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they just had a couple beers. Okay. They're a little iffy. There we go. We got the um, right ones in now. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Alright. Well. Good start. So is your quickening spell? Dedication. Yeah. I don't want to be loud to start. So I'm going to start with hitting the dog that's holding Fern uh-huh. with three Eldritch Blasts. Okay. Eldritch Blasts. Quiet. Yeah, just but quiet Eldritch, Eldritch Blasts. Blasts. Eldritch Blats with little silencers on them. Yeah. Okay, I have advantage because I have advantage on all attacks. So, first one. 29. 29 hits. Second one. 28. Hits. Third one. 19. 19 hits. Okay. No. So that's 3d10. Uh, <coughs> shit, shit. I need to gather my tens. Where are my tens? Uh, uh. 3d10. So that's going to be 15 plus. Okay. 21, 28, 30 damage. 30 damage. Boom, from the side, the. Uh, 
Abaddon goes, <laughs> like falls onto its side for a second, kind of catches itself before <laughs> and turns around. You can see its mouth open slightly, and you can see fern inside, like trying to pull out, like <laughs> like Audrey and Audrey too, as it swings, <laughs> and then its jaws clamp down again, and it, you can see like arm and leg kind of hanging out the side. Uh, pretty heavy hit on it. The side of it's kind of blasted in. You can see kind of like exposed red and muscle. Okay, can I kind of tuck into this nook a bit? Sure. Can I half cover? As you tuck into the nook, you can see the uh, the two other Rylorn who weren't blasted by it. See the the blast streak out of nowhere, damage the side of the Avadon. Both kind of like the, the other Avadon kind of rears back slightly before landing, and both of them kind of shift their attention over to the source of where huh. the blasts came from, which is over to where you all are. Yeah. Uh, but you duck off to the My side. Turn. Finishes they your turn. Got, they all, they're all baned except for <clears> one. <throat> yep. Warm you up. Okay. Question about the terrain: Is this runnable, or this is? Am I on the stairs? This is just uh, approximation. The, just, this is a slight lip here. Most of this is just like structure that builds up here. Okay. If you'll allow, then I am going to start um, pitter pat running, sprinting this way, mm -hmm. and flea jumping across the back. And in mid air, I will um, cause little uh, dark blooms to start sprouting out the back of the juggernaut, all down its back and legs as I hex it. Okay. And I'm going to slash it along the back as I fly by. Certainly. 25 to hit. That hits. And I'm going to make it a goading attack, so it has to do wisdom 17. Wisdom 17. Uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be 16 exactly. It misses uh, by one. Fails. Cool. So that is 7, 6, 6, 6 13. A total of 22 damage. 22 damage, guy. Uh, and it is a, di and I'm going to keep attacking, but it's a disadvantage against anyone but, but me. You, yeah. And then I'm just going to start as as little small flowers start sprouting out of its calf and Achilles' heel. I just start uh, silently hacking away like I'm cutting into a tree at the ankle. Uh, Go for it. That's a 26 to hit. Yeah. Uh, that is 13 damage, and the last one is a 20 to hit. Yep, that hits. And that is 13 damage. Alrighty. Uh, Leaping the air, hexing it, and then landing and then slicing rapidly before kind of keeping it focused on you. You see kind of like, it takes the hits in the back, <laughs> turns around to face you, and it is just towering over your tiny frame with your shield and sword at the ready. And there's like a long, thin, like a <clears throat> paper cut on this guy because of his size, but there's just flowers slowly growing out of its back, and I'm going to hold my ground there. You got there. it. Okay. Finishing your go orb, it is now the Juggernaut's turn. <laughs> I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! <laughs> got it. I feel this. Let's go, Juggalo. Spin on you there. And it's going to go ahead and go into a full round oh, of attacks. And, uh, oh, and it God. gets disadvantage on Strength moving forward. You got it. Okay, so it's going to be first attack on you. Minus, minus D4. four. D four. Natural twenty minus oh. D four. Uh, silvery barbs. What's the range on silvery barbs? Oh, wow, you're pretty far. Yeah, but I. But it's sixty feet. Does it count as a natural twenty if it's a minus D four? How's that work? No, still hits. It still hits. Twenty is always a twenty. Sixty yep. feet. Oh, okay. Sixty feet. Uh, now he's out of range. Oh. I know there's limitations to that spell. Okay. Hey. <laughs> uh, so the first is a crit. Yeah. The second one is going to be uh, 22 to hit. Is that minus minus D4? D4. Makes it a 20. Hits. Just. Okay. And the last one. This guy's fucking Natural 20 again. <gasps> Whoa. Holy yeah. shit. Where'd they go? Yeah, I get these 20s in. You really, you, you really got this dude's attention. Shit. Mm -hmm. So Sorry. as he turns around, the massive kind of jagged bone cestus, like, like the, the the heavy me metal and bone laced knuckles, just like, poof, like hits you, hits towards the shield, and the shield gets knocked out of your hand, like almost to the ground. You still hold it, but it knocks it free. And as that gets deflected, its other fist comes down, poof, right across your face, knocking you to one knee. It brings another fist to uppercut you, and you actually like kind of lift it off the ground for a moment as it brings both of its hands up and. Wham! Just slams you crashing into the ground. The stone around you cracks and lifts up, leaving a dust cloud where you were. Um, all right, so the first hit is going to be. It's okay, I have five good berries. Uh, 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Didn't roll that high for the crit. Uh, second one's going to be 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Not that great, yeah. The, the, the crit wasn't that great. But the final crit. Oh, I'm tough. That's going to be better, okay. 
34 points of bludgeoning damage. Gotcha. And I need you to make a strength saving throw mm-hmm. as it uses its telekinetic combo. He's telekinetic too? Even no. the juggernauts? All the um, have some element of the power. I'm going to, hold on one sec, sorry. I'm going through my shit. Uh, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Where are you? Shit. I'm fucked. Um, six plus, it's a strength save you said? Yes. I'm confused. Um, hmm. Shite. All right. Um, six plus eleven. I'm going to spend a superiority die and add uh, a, uh, the roll of that to this roll. Okay, that is twenty. Twenty. As it slams you to the ground, you catch yourself in the middle of the air and flip like a cat that fell and catch your feet as opposed to being not prone on the ground. Okay. All right, wow. that finishes the Juggernauts. Go FCG, you're up with Imogen on deck. Horrifying. Rang like my bell. Real hard. Yeah. Real hard. Boy, oh boysy. Oh uh, I'm gonna God. come out from my little hidey hole. Uh-huh. Assess the damage. So Fern's in the thing's mouth. Is she, hang, is she hanging out of the mouth? You see, like an like an arm and a leg currently, like kind of hanging out the side as its mouth's kind of like about to bite down and chew. You're gonna be fine, right? I'll be fine. I'll figure it out. Jesus. Orem is hurt. Orem is. Or Orem can't lot. cannot take another one of those. No. Um, Straight up. Well then. Okay, I'll, I'll move forward a little bit, and I will, I'll, I'll cast just to, just up to like where Fern is, okay. um, and cast. I'll just do what I do. I'm gonna cast banishment on the juggernaut. Banishment on the juggernaut. Yes. Okay. Cool. Good idea. All right. All right. So it's gonna be what save? Charisma. Charisma sixteen. Charisma sixteen. It also takes a D four. Yeah. None of Natural mind. twelve. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Change Bringer. The Juggernaut, standing above you, Orem, yeah. like slams its fists together, and as it brings its arms up again, just vanishes from sight. Oh, shit. <laughs> he ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> you you beat him, Orem! Good job! Uh, oh, bonus action, I can't really do anything because I could just cast a spell. Because um, I can't bond with anyone on, as a bonus action. So I will just, right, I can't cast another spell as a bonus action. That's it. That's all I'll do. Okay, Imogen, you're up with the front on deck. How's my? Uh... Uh, you can spend another action to try and pull again if you'd like. Should I do it? It's going to be loud though. But uh... it's just a building falling. <laughs> just a little repeat building that out, repeat falling. Repeat that out loud one more time. Yeah, but it could be you know a building falling. That's not our fault. I mean, yeah, if they get yeah. pinned, then we can run. It's, it's I'm gonna try. Though. Yeah. You're going to okay. try. I'm going to try. Go ahead and roll another d20 okay. and add your okay. spells. Modifier. <clears throat> Four people. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're trying to beat a 15. Uh. 14. Fuck. 14. You watch as the building <clears throat> shifts slightly and dust falls free. More stones fall and tumble on the ground. Uh, it's it's pretty close to coming, but it's. Um, as I'm like holding that and trying to pull it, I'm gonna quicken a spell, and I'm gonna. Are there other stones around on the ground? I'm assuming. Oh yeah, there's there's stones everywhere. I'm gonna. Oh fuck. Let me see. I am going to quicken and twin a, a first level spell. Okay. I'm gonna pick up two stones. And I'm gonna fling them at the two Rylorn that are still standing. Okay, go for it. Mm-hmm. So that's a deck save from each of them. Uh, that's Minus gonna four. be a. a uh, that's gonna be a, a nine. Okay. And the other is gonna be a fifteen. Great. They both fail, so they're both gonna take three d8 bludgeoning damage. Go for it. Mm-hmm. Nice. Big time. Big time. Oh wait, yeah, wait. These these are tens. 
What am I doing? Where's the eighth? Oh God, why oh, am I no, breaking? No, you don't have enough dice. No, I just couldn't remember. <laughs> I never thought. So when is it going so wrong? Oh God. <laughs> Need more. Okay, six oh, plus <laughs> five, 11 plus three, 14. 14 to each? To each. You got it. I can. You both just get pummeled. Like, like, Their heads kind of like knocked off to the head. side. Dark blood spatters out as they both kind of right themselves. <laughs> ah, look back in your direction. This is gonna be bad. Can can I back up? Yes, you can. Wait, what's happening? What are you? I'm just backing up. up. You just disappear around the building. We just yeah. keep throwing each other in front of each other. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> protect me. You protect me. Love you. Really, y'all? Okay. Come on, Ash. I will make, I, it's not my turn yet, but I will definitely enjoy my 20 Did you feet of really movement. Did you really yaw me? Did you really yaw me? <laughs> yeah. Fern? Yes. The top of your turn, mm -hmm. and it's chewing on you. <laughs> Is it that bad? Wait, what did we do? Who's yawed? Ash is standing between y'all and the enemy. Mm -hmm. And he can't move. <laughs> Like, That's going to be uh, 22 points of piercing oh. damage as you're being chewed into two jaws. You are currently restrained while you're in um, there. 22, po 22 points of damage? Correct. What was the hit? I can also stop. You just, you just take that I damage take from, okay, okay, from, okay, from okay, being okay, inside its mouth. All right. Um, so, what I'm going to do in there, I'm just going to. Just shoot as as scorching rays in here. Point blank in its point jaw. Blank in its, what level? In its jaw and its belly. Let's do a uh, third level. So that'll be three. Can't go wrong. Okay. Can't go wrong. You do have disadvantage in these because you are restrained within it. But the good news is, its armor class, it's kind of hard to miss to a certain degree because you're inside its mouth. So I'll give you advantage on it. So it's just a straight roll. Okay. Straight roll. If you want to try it, I'm the game. Mm. I have yet to use this, so. You would have to hold your action. No, I don't think so. I'll find out. Oh, wow, that's nice. Um, 13. 13, unfortunately, misses. Okay. Natural 20. Ooh, if it makes up for that. Yeah. It's cacked. Another natural 20. <gasps> Oh, the universe melts. That's why. Fuck. This one sometimes wow. does some special shit. You, you got one more to go. You've oh, oh, that's four. right. Cucked. <laughs> God, who the fuck? God damn it. Ashley A one. <laughs> <laughs> Miss 2021. Perfect. All right, so so roll uh, 4d6 and then just double it. Oh, come on. That's such balls. <laughs> Okay. Nine. Uh, Eleven. So twenty-two points of damage. Twenty-two points of damage. Fucking. Uh, damn. How do you want to do this? Hey. Oh. Oh. All right. So I'm just kind of ah, and then I kind of just like put one hand like in his throat to try to in mm. his tummy and the whole rest of his body, and then the other one kind of like up to his brain. Uh, the two sides of it kind of blast through. Uh, this Avedon, I'm allowing it to happen. I actually did the math wrong. That dam the damage that I already had was from the guy that you attacked, but I'll allow it because it's already there. It's great. No! This no, one no. was a weaker one. So, okay, yeah, he so, was having tummy problems. Yeah, he's, right. he's, 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 having, he's having a rough day. I'll, I'll bounce it around. A little the indigestion. Other way. Was the Ryloran riding the Avedon? Are the yeah. Ryloran's on They're top? They're still on top of it, yeah. Oh, shit. So you blast through the sides of this one. It, like, it already had a rough Wait, day. I don't want you to give it to me. I'm not giving it to you. I'll, I'm going I'm to balance it okay, else, okay, elsewhere. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. uh, so as this one crumbles. Wasn't and, a real victory, actually. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Te technically, none of them have been real victories. <laughs> yeah, they're all imaginary. Uh, this is fake. This is but all. yeah, so you blast through it and kind of land out of its mouth. You're no longer restrained. Okay. Uh, but you are no, you are prone on the ground when you land, so you have to get up to try and move or stay put if you like. Yes. Back. So mm. I would like to just stand up, and then. May I? Matthew, may I? Just disengage, or just like? Bonus action disengage. GTFO. Yeah, you can do yeah. that. And kind of one, two, three. Uh, what's your movement? It is thirty-five. Thirty-five. So yeah, you can get about that far. Just have your movement and get up. <sighs> okay, let me just double check that there's nothing else. Um. Okay. It's my turn. Okay. It's my turn. It's good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. These two other uh, 
Well, first the other Avadon's going to go. It's going to go ahead and leap forward <laughs> to FCG. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, it's going to go ahead and make a strike against you. It's a pounce maneuver because it moved more than 20 feet to get to you. Uh, it's going to try and hit you with both its claw. Just Actually, it's, it's going to hit you with its barbed tongue attack first. Cool. Mm. As, it, as it lands. Barbed That's going to be <gasps> another fucking natural 20. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake! Is it close enough to you? What's this one? Who's this one? FCG. Uh, Which one? What's this one? Uh, you. You can't I see. No, I don't think so. Yeah, you don't have you don't have Fuck. visual on this. It's the downside with taking cover. I know. Um, so that's the barbed tongue attack on you. Oh, no! Talison, look at this no shit. Way. For I real? See no. I see it. I see it. That is wow. insane. Is it the same wow. Die or huh? different ones? Same die. It's, oh. it's my ruinous die. Two back to back. That's fucking great. Crazy. You should roll Hell one. Yeah. So just one more time to see if another. Well, that's. Okay, that's a natural 14. Uh, <laughs> that would be a t uh, 23 to hit. Hits! All right, so two crits on the bite and the barbed tongue. The barbed tongue first, oh. as it's in the back, it sh shoots into you and like sticks into you as, oh, as it holds on. It would pull you towards it, but instead it's going to leap towards you and use the momentum. That okay. at you. That's going to be uh, 21 points of piercing damage. Okay. Sh sh into you. It lands and goes for the, the crit bite attack. This is going to be... Yep. Ooh. 31 points of piercing damage. Just keep that in mind. Thank you. And touch me. And then make a strength saving throw for me. With advantage. Strength? 14. 14. You are grappled as it holds you in its jaws. Uh, and then the final attack with its claws is going to be 16 points of slashing damage. And it's now kind of like mm. right. It's looming over you. It has you like partially in its mouth. It's like getting ready to start shaking you like uh -oh. a dog toy. Uh, finishing uh -oh. that, it's now the Rylores go. Uh, the one that's on the ground. Let me see. It's all. Uh, this one's still on top. Can't quite get to you because you're in its mouth. So it has its uh, spear on its side, and you're right there. It's going to go ahead and try and strike you twice with its spear from on the top of the the dog's back. Shield. Yes! That's going to be a 21. What's your armor class with shield? 22! <laughs> that misses. <laughs> the spear goes towards you and you Ow! put up the arcane sigil with like as an instinct and it streaks off of it, leaving the runes there to just fade for a second and like kind of this re green swirly kind of natural energy. It angrily spins the spear around and it's going to try and strike you with kind of like a bladed edge of it. You see it's almost like a, like a glaive spear. Uh, that's going to be... Uh, it's 23 to hit, so it, it does hit you with the shield. All right, all right. Um, with that, you take, <laughs> it's a really shitty damage roll, you take four points of slashing damage. All right. Um, and then it's going to go ahead and try and teleconnect, shove you, go ahead and make a strength saving throw for me. Okay. Is this a, a spell, magical effect? I'd say it's magical adjacent, sure. Because I get advantage on those? Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm, this is a different this kind of magical effect. Okay. Yeah, this is. Uh, this 10. Is 10. All right, it's going to <laughs> shove you closer to the side okay. to try and keep you nearby. Okay. Uh, the other one over here is going to then dart around and attempt to uh, spear you from this side with its spear. It's going to try to ram you through. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a 20 to hit, but you keep shield for the round, yes. so that yes. deflects it again. Oh. Uh, Fuck. That's a natural 18. Yeah, that definitely hits you. Oh, was that with the negative d4, though? Yep, minus d4 oh, yeah. for blue. A minus one, so that would be uh, a, still a 24. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. just trying. Plus, that one's not Bane. Oh. Correct, yeah, yeah so that one doesn't yeah. get it. Oh, yeah, no, uh, that's going to be seven yeah. points of piercing damage. Oh. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. <laughs> It looks like your tongue is all the way down. And it does. So, Heinous. And make another strength saving throw. This one's going to try and teleconnect, shove you over its shoulder as it hits you with the spear, and it's going to go ahead and try and fling you That's using its tongue power. Can, can I do that? 12. 12. You fail. It just shoves you five feet this way. Okay. Perfect. Oh. It's just the it's the narrative version of the five foot shove. 
but now it puts you on the other side between those two. Like Muppet Baby. That finishes their go. Chetney, you're up with Ashton on deck. Uh, I'll break cover from the okay, tent. You come, you, you, it's all you. I don't have to do anything. Uh, and as I come running out, I'll use my hybrid transformation. Yeah. Hybrid. Oh yeah. yeah. Hybrid. Meow. I thought and, uh, you were all electric, man. Run up uh, behind the Rhyloran closest to moi. Uh, and I'll drag my claws along my thigh, and uh, he's up on on top of the uh, the Abaddon, so you can kind of nice. Uh, yeah, I'll take. A, a, so I'll use a little uh, blood maledict for five points of damage, uh, and I'll take uh, three swipes at him. Do I? Have, is it a disadvantage because he's mounted? Probably the one that's up on the doggy. He's up on the doggy. I think it's just a straight roll. Okay. Uh, I forgot to ask for your concentration checks, by the way. Oh shit. Oh sure, sure. Oh. Half the damage you did each of these hits. Is this for uh, a telekinetic? Which, how much am no. I trying to roll? Plus con. That's eighteen plus stuff. That's yeah. That's fine. fine for one. Eighteen plus stuff. Okay. Four plus stuff. That. That's an eight. Ten is the minimum. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we got no. a we got jugs back. Move. Um, Jugged jugs, big that jugs. That would change things for you. <laughs> yes, please. So to that degree, uh, <laughs> 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 and I'll attack the uh, juggernaut. Juggernaut instead. That's what I was. I was like, I, this is something I got to remember to do. Print is yeah. not dead. All right. So as you right, pull out, transform, and rush in towards the juggernaut. Twenty-eight to hit. It's, it's that hits. Second swipe. Uh, 25 to hit. That hits. Uh, third hit is, Jesus, 29 to hit. Oh, 19! I'm attuned to the bloody bib, which means I get a thing, but I'll do it that well, later. Use your bonus action to Blood Maledict. That's right. So, oh, so I don't get the third one, so just which is that one. Yeah. Just the two. Sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, mm. 1 day plus 4, 8, 13. Uh, 17 for the first one. Okay. And that's, a, that's the wrong dice. 4. 16 plus 5, 21 for the second one. 21. Solid hits on the Juggernaut. Yeah. <laughs> you feel this like pressure in your brain as it now becomes aware of your presence. Hello. Um, so finish your turn. Uh, yeah, and I would move into flanking uh, position with Orm. Orm. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Should have done that first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, now we know. Yeah. Uh, Ashton, you're up with Ladna on deck. Uh, I'm going to take uh, my first 20 uh, feet uh, towards. I'm going to try and get right in the middle of these two. So over here, you mean? N uh, on n like uh, oh. kitty quarter uh, to fern, like right, like there? right in there. If I can get, can I? Is that? Can okay. I move that far? Uh, 20 feet. Maybe like, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 to get there. I'm not 25. I am still exhaustion, exhaustion level oh, 2. Right. So I have so 20. Yeah, so you can get there. Okay, oh. so I can get in the midst of one. Oh, he's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to yep. fucking yep. rage. Here we fucking go. Uh, let's <laughs> see here what the gonna fuck gonna is going to happen. Here we um, okay, okay, okay. Fine, I'll deal with that. It's never what he wants. No, it's never <laughs> and it's always something new. It's almost always a one, which is really frustrating. Yeah, like I've I have rolled the four and the three, like n never. It really is. Change your dice, but I uh, I keep dice. changing them. And then you have to tell us uh, now that this is a blank piece of paper. It is. <laughs> it's all my mind palace it's a secret. Uh, well, the uh, black and white cinematic uh, vibrations begin. I turn. Uh, I lose all color in my outfit, and uh, my stone becomes. Uh, silver tone, cool. and uh, okay, uh, let's start their turn. So uh, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna hit that motherfucker right in front of me. Okay. Um, and <laughs> fuck it, I'm gonna go reckless because I'm go I'm for irritated it. by the day. All right, natural twenty. That was what you want. Yeah, so that He's means a bunch of shit. Are um, I have a hot table. Apparently. So natural 20 means uh, I get an extra. I think I've rolled that many crits uh, in a row, like that close. Yeah. Oh, that felt good. Um, sorry. No, uh, sorry, I said physical damage is half. We're excited. Uh, sorry, I'm like, uh, I get, means I get an extra d6. Yes. You get that, which is also doubled. Um, and then there's one other weird thing that happens. Hold on. Which is brutal critical, right? It's the brutal critical. Uh, well, brutal critical is the three dice, right? And then, um, 
Everybody's attack rolls against that character have advantage uh, until the beginning of my next turn. Correct. So all attacks against this guy right here have advantage. Have advantage. Great. Oh, so I'll get, mark it with the green. Thank you. Let's get some. Let's do some damage. Booty critical mass. Uh, I don't like those two twos. I'm going to reroll them. Eh, fuck me. <laughs> like seven, 14, uh, 14 plus 12 is 26 points of damage. 26 okay. points of damage on the first hit. Uh, again, again. 17 plus 10 to hit, 27 to hit. Yeah, definitely hits. Uh, goodbye, bye. That was fun. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 21 points of damage. One points of damage. How do you want to do this? Yes! I am going to just come migraine killing, just come up and I'm going to take one good slice against the head and I'm going to go one handed and just knock his fucking head into the ground. Yes! As you impact with the second strike, the head actually crunches into the torso. You watch it kind of like expand slightly as it has to make room for the meat and bone that you've pushed Ooh. into it. Nice work. Let me know if you want to. Call it out. So, and then, well, we've got a second, so I'm gonna st I spin my hammer up and then I drop it so that the head of the hammer is above and I've got the, uh, I'm like holding onto it like a fucking signpost. Let's do this shit. Okay, that finishes your go. Laudna, you're up. All right, getting the <laughs> sign from Ashton. I'm going to <laughs> pop around the corner. Now I'm getting the <laughs> sign from Ashton. <laughs> it opened up my eyes. I'm going to. Cast Blight through his hammer and attempt to Ooh. split it. Okay. Ooh. All right. That's fancy. Yeah. Blight splice. All righty. <laughs> so the effects of that so hammer. So um, pulling it up right now. Split a spell. <gasps> um, there's a save, which is DC six plus spell level, which I think she has to roll a. Correct. Check. Yeah. DC six plus the spell's level. And I get to add my spell casting modifier, so that will be a uh, fourth level spell, so that brings it up to 10. My spell casting modifier is plus five. So you just have to and I have advantage on this, so their ability checks. Oh man. Yep. Well, the DC is, yeah, so just go ahead and roll your spell casting modifier. Roll a d20 and add your I charisma. Have advantage on this, right? It is an ability check, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that is 18. That's a success. Yes. So you concentrate and release the, like, we, we watch as you like throw out the seed of dark magic that kind of arcs through the air in slow motion as it slowly impacts the back of the hammer. You watch as that tiny little note becomes 7,000 tiny little spread seeds that then reform on the opposite side of the fractal hammer glass and then shoots off as two divided cool. blights towards Amazing. each of these targets. Yeah. Uh, but both him and his mount. Correct. So they both have to make a constitution save. Yep, minus a d4. Minus a d4. I'm just going to duck because I know what's coming. Okay. Yep. Uh, so that would be a 20 minus 4 to a 16. Hits. The Bane made the difference there for the Rylorn and then for his mount. Who's also baned? Uh, that is going to be a one. Yes. <laughs> all together a one. Fern, watch your head. And then uh, eight d eight. Yeah, baby. Full d eight. Fucking fry, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> First time I got to use this shit. That's what okay, it's, okay, okay. It's, it's pretty damn fun when it works. I'm assuming one one uh, one damage roll for both of them, right? Correct. Okay, eight. Nine, nineteen. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Nineteen, twenty-seven, thirty-one, uh, thirty-five, thirty-nine points of damage. Oh, damn! Of light. Damn! Damage. All right. Uh, the Avedon still stands, but how do you want to do this against the yes. other Rylorin? Oh, the Rylorin. Uh, I imagine it, it hits the hammer, and you know how like um, like a magnifying glass under a sunbeam, I hit it at just the right angle, so it just like shoots a hole like frying an ant in the sun. Not that I've ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> and as it kind of like looks down up towards you, its eyes kind of go to a pale gray, and the area where the burn mark would be it expands as the blackness begins to consume its flesh, and it crumples back to the ground. <gasps> Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. 
That's my turn. That's awesome. your turn. Hells, yes. Orem, you're up. Okay, as I see uh, Chetney finish going to town on Big Jug's back, uh, my <laughs> eyes go a deeper green and he spits blood on the ground. Back just in time. Uh, and I start to uh, start to slash away again at his uh, calves and tendons. Oh no, first uh, I give myself uh, 13 hit points back nice. with a bonus action. Uh, okay, here we go, and we're flanking so at advantage. That's 24 to hit. That hits. Three nine points of damage. All right. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. That hits. 14 points of damage. Ooh. 24 to hit. That hits. Damn. Nine points of damage. Action surge. 24 <laughs> that to hits. hit. That hits. 12 points of damage. Alrighty. 23 to hit. Mm -hmm. 14 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Winner, 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 chicken dinner! Six attacks? 26 yeah. to hit. There's some mercy <laughs> shit happening. Fighters with action surge. Right? Yeah. How many is he done? Let's make this a oh, I can win Percy. tripping attack. So that is. Seventeen points of damage. Okay. <sighs> Still up. Just breathing hard. Uh, well, I told you I'd, I'd fix it. The hit points uh, that creature did have went to the juggernaut. Huh. So. Uh, and they're just crazy did boys. This. It's all my. This is all my fault. The none of, no, it is not at all. It's because I'm a woman. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Good night, everyone. I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh I'm gonna hear it. <laughs> Big Jugs has to make a strength save at disadvantage because of the hex. Beat a well, the hex is ability checks, not saving throws. <laughs> not saving throws? Correct. Oh, okay. Oh. But, no, but for it. <laughs> Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so like any sort of athletics checks Great. or contested like strength checks, those are affected by hex, but it doesn't affect saving throws. Great, so last thing I do, I haven't used any of my movement, I run under his legs and That's I... That's a natural 20 on his fucking strength save. Uh, 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 there's no way this it is. Uh, uh, <laughs> Different die this time. Uh -huh. I'm gonna run under oh, Big Jug's uh, legs. Wait, 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 that was, hang on, the tripping, that was a natural 20 for the tripping attack? Yes. Silver barbs, I hope I'm in range. Okay. You are. This fucking spell. Yeah. Oh, ah, let's go, baby! Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> that is going to be turn, right? a 16? Oh, minus fails. four, minus four. 12. Failed already. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah. So he's on his back. No, you you want to hit it. You just oh, want to oh. He's not dead. And now so like, shush, 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 shush. Yep. What? Right not underneath its knee and it long, shush, long, falls onto its back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damage was that? It was a lot. Like should <coughs> burning this. Yeah, that was a that was a, which is good because he's about to get back up. I already have the damage. It's close to eighty points of damage. Wow. Do you have anything else? No, I mean I did an action. <laughs> that was a and, uh, burn. Action and, and, and uh, action. That was just sad. Move. You can Pull your weight around you could, here. Like, <laughs> can you just engage now that he's on the ground? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> but at the same time, probably, one attack versus action. a bunch of them might be. I don't know. I'm just. I'm spitballing terrible things. Right now. Uh, Liam, I'm giving you advantage due to silvery barbs, so you have an advantage. Okay. To burn. To burn. <sighs> I'm actually gonna run. It's a first level spell. Over the <laughs> over big jugs. I'm gonna kick Chetney in the chest and push him back. I'm gonna say, "Move, Dad. Shove him back five feet." <laughs> And do bait and switch. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm going to take the AC boost. I'll take it. It's not a lot, but I got it. And that's where I'm stopping. There. Okay. That finishes your turn? Yeah. Juggernaut's turn. Uh oh. Juggernaut is going to get up from the ground for half its movement. It kind of like, you can see like the part of its jaw is like broken. Uh, from just the impact of a shield bash yeah. earlier, you can see all the different Rivers. cuts across its body. It's just Rivers. bleeding a pile in the middle of the ground. You can see like it's it's the the slowly growing lake of blood that it's leaking is starting to like seep into the dry dust and dirt filled ground. Isn't in that water park in New Jersey, Action, action Park. Action Park. Action park. Action park. <laughs> it's the action surge to Action Park. Uh, as it 
looks down at you and kind of is going to try to grab your head and just start slamming you straight into its knuckles. Yeah. So the first attack against you. Baned. Uh, yeah, Bane is going to be. 21. Misses. Superiority die, repost. I'm going to stab him in the gut. Okay, oh, go for wow. it. Okay, wow. yeah. 29 to hit. That hits. 12 points of damage. How do you want to do that? I absolutely Ooh. tore his legs up, Ooh. and as he comes down to crush, I'm gonna slide under his gooch and go straight up and in and Ooh. cut up through the belly. And flowers just go <laughs> up his body. Onto the ground. That's cool. cool. Nice. That's why I stayed. Nice. Cool. All right, that finishes the Dragonaut's turn. FCG, you're up. Oh, and I'm in a mouth. You are actually the top of your round. Is your I mean, no? It's not. It's not. It hasn't swallowed you. You just grappled. Okay. That was a specific circumstance because you were already in its throat when it yes. bit on you. Um, <clears throat> he's surrounded by my friends, so I don't think he's going to last very long. So I'll just use a can trip. Um, scramble the dead. Uh, I will open my mouth, and you'll hear the AOL modem sound. <laughs> <laughs> 14. Uh, yeah, it fails. Constitution save, right? Fails, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a dex save. No, oh. no, no, it's a wisdom save. A wisdom so. save? Yes. Even worse. Oh, God. Oh, great. Yeah, and everything. I put it at 10. Okay. So that's 3d8. Uh, 11 points of. Oh, wait, no. I think it becomes a d12 because he has already taken damage, Correct. right? Yes. So it's 3d12. Ooh. 12, uh, 17, and 18. How do you want to do this? Oh, yeah. yeah. How do I want to do this? Um, he doesn't have a face, right? Uh, not a face, just a, just a giant mouth between its muscular shoulders. Okay, I will. I'm gonna adjust my the frequency of my of my dissonant sound. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be looking for the perfect harmonics. That will harmonic that will, resonance of the harmonic creature. Harmonic resonance with his bone structure that will just sort of shake it apart. You watch it like, begin to quiver. It falls to like one elbow as it tries to get back up, and that weird like pocket slip beneath its mouth, where it felt like it was breathing, kind of opens up and just blood spills out of it as it shakes, and then it just collapses. Amazing. We gotta get off the streets. We gotta go. Before we, go. we go, I'm gonna start beheading the uh, Juggernaut what? and the two Rylorans. I want their heads in a hole so I no one can a, talk to them afterwards. It's gonna it's gonna take you about a minute to remove. I'm it. I'm gonna okay. just open. Should we just open the fucking hole and put yeah, the bodies in? Yeah, throw in. Just put the bodies. It's in. It. What it's takes longer, hole, beheading so. three bodies or opening a right. hole? Opening the men. Opening the hole is fast, right? Yeah, it takes it takes a, a round or two to I'm open the hole. the hole, and we hey, can just kick them in. Guys, so telekinesis up. Oh. You do. Oh, throw the bodies in the hole. <laughs> yeah. What else am I gonna fucking nice. do with this? Throw the bodies that's valid. In the hole. All right, that's two actions on the right. whole thing. So the with the, the with telekinetic eight, <laughs> telekinesis eight on that, you just kind of like. <laughs> We're getting way too good at that. Let's run. <laughs> uh, can I use prestidigitation to oh. get rid of any of the blood in the street and just yeah. like clear up the area? It'll, it'll oh. take you a couple rounds, but yeah, I can definitely be done. I'll, um, I'll aid in that. With some goodbye to footprints. And then, goodbye yeah, to... all of the stuff. Just kind of get rid of the evidence. And then the juggernaut oh. was carrying something, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. What was he? Was, was he dragging through, through the street? Avidon? It's like a, a, a wheeled cart that he was holding. Is what's in the cart? Yeah, can we look and see what's in the cart? What's in the cart? You go over and look, and the the cart has a uh, it's like a metallic box, about like a one foot by one foot. Oh, we should take the box. Let's put the box. Container. Let's put the box yeah, in the yeah, hole. In the yep. hole. Yep. Telekinesis that shit. Yeah, in the I'm hole? lifting the box and putting it in the hole. Yeah, it's heavy, but you, you telekinesis is more than enough to do okay. so. Okay, and then the cart. Bump on the log at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> uh, is there anything else in the cart? No, just that. It's just an empty cart. Uh, I'm gonna. How big is the cart? <laughs> well, I know. Can I lift the cart? Up and like put it on top of a building so it's not seeable. <laughs> yeah, nice. you can do that. Nice. Love it. <laughs> Fucking love it. Shove it off to the side. Okay. Wicked. Just, uh, Minecraft God mode. Yeah. <laughs> now, Orem, 
Yes. You have a pretty high passive perception. Yes, it's yep. 31. Yep. <laughs> As you're putting it up there, you can see like one of the upper towers. There is someone kind of looking over, oh, down over the okay. circumstance. Okay. Uh, you, all you see is a figure like up there, and then quickly like pull back into the window. Kill all well, the uh, Hopefully let's they're roll. part of the resistance. Let's yeah, go. I think one witness up high. Do you point that out? Yeah. I think it. I, um, put our cloaks up and let's get the fuck out of here. I have invisible uh, pate go up and get a closer look right. at who this is. Lands onto the windowsill uh, and says pate kind of glimpses inside. It looks like a, a dark, kind of shaded abode. Looks like some scavenged furniture that lies around with some uh, sheets of kind of dried and torn material. You know, you see cloth-like materials around here, but you don't know where cotton would even come from. Mm. Um, it's not quite cotton-like either; it's thicker. Um, but you see inside uh, there is uh, a Rylorn figure that is just kind of just hiding off the side of the window. Do are they um, wearing like military garb or just rags? No. Or no, they, they look like a standard civilian. Same kind that was with the kids earlier. I want to give him a little. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have pate. <laughs> I've never done this. Uninvisible himself. <laughs> Tell him he better keep his mouth shut. Or else. Okay. Oh boy. As pate like swoops in and lands, the entity. <laughs> you see this like, maybe. The lord that you've encountered have all been like varying, younger to, to middle age. You can see the coloration on the body is slightly more gray. A lot of the vibrant reds and purples and pinks have kind of faded, and you can see elements of wrinkles. This looks to be an, an older uh, Rylora, uh, who immediately turns and looks at Pate and like backs up into the corner as Pate stumbles forward. Hey! You! You don't say a thing. No peeping. Shh. Which is hard for a skull to do. Thank <laughs> 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 you. Yeah. Don't worry. We're all friends here. And look, we, we can clean it up for you. All right, right, that's enough. That's enough. It's a service we provide <laughs> here. <laughs> I think he's got it. Right. So, what did we learn? <laughs> The kind of like, <laughs> yeah. So we don't tell anyone. All right, Pate. <laughs> I gotta go. Have a good day, boy. <laughs> Out the window. <laughs> okay, let's get off the street. We are heading. Just, I was assumed yeah, towards to the, to the jagged edge. To the jagged edge. Fast as uh, okay. as chill as we can. Uh, I would like a group stealth check <laughs> to just. That's not a trace. <laughs> Ooh. I guess here's my question: Are you going? Are you darting from shadow to shadow, or are you trying to walk through the streets, passing yourself off as individuals that are supposed I think to be there? We should there? be passing ourselves yeah. off with yeah. someone that belongs here. Same. Okay. Same. So I would like everyone to make a group deception check. Mm. Okay. Deception. Ooh. Correct. That's not cool. Now, mind you, it's probably a slow. It's a lower DC, but everyone is trying to pass this off, and you like oh. because of your presentation, uh, your attire. So, uh, oh. over here. Three. Oof. Okay. 24. Nice. 10. Okay. 16. Okay. 18. Okay. Nine. And then there's a mystery roll. There One. is. We'll wait for Orm to come back here. As or maybe we should just roll for him. No, let's just all sit in silence and stare at him. Just when he comes back. Uh, roll one of his moon is it, Well, I just want to make sure he doesn't have like like uh, like special what special, about special about things right? about it. Just go for it. Ah, see, that was great. Seventeen. Uh, yeah, seventeen. Okay. Lucky. <laughs> so, mm. and walking as a group <laughs> and stepping through the streets here of the Clutch region of Craviris. You can see there are people kind of talking to each other. There's a little bit of hushed energy as people kind of gather and step into each other's building. Uh, it has this kind of sense, like there's a military occupation, is the best way I can describe it, but it's occupying its own city, and you're uncertain 
how long it's been like this, but from what little bits you've gleaned, it's probably been like this for some time. Trashy Skyball. Trashy Skyball. <laughs> the faintest glimmer. <gasps> no, 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 no. The faintest glimmer. In which um, direction? Uh, near the, where would be the entrance of the valley where the city is. At least you know the Odahan has arrived. Oh boy. But they're not here. Did we check the whole for, did we check those bodies for rings like we did the other? No, no but they're in another dimension time. right now, so okay, we'll have okay, time okay, later. Okay, okay. I tell everybody immediately, she's here, she's here, she's here, she's fucking here. Well, now we know how long that takes. Let's get the fuck right. out of here. The, uh, so so that's towards like the entrance from the valley into the city. Which direction are we moving in relation to her? You're the moving, if, if, if the entrance way is like the south, part of the, of the city structure, uh, you're kind of heading in a northeastern direction. Okay. Right, I'm going to cast. Go, go, go. Oh, is here. I'm going to cast Locate Creature. What? Okay. And try to find Zesh? What? <laughs> what? Zesh wouldn't. Uh, Wait, who are we supposed to meet here? We're supposed to meet Jeddo. 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 We're waiting for Jeddo. Jeddo. I'm, I'm going to name Jeddo. Okay. okay. You immediately get a ping, not far from the periphery. Winding through these alleys, and there are many. Uh, aside from maybe like one central street that you do kind of cross rapidly to get in the northeastern direction you're having to go, most of this surface, like all the city streets are just a tangle of alleys and small walkways. Some have like small tunnel enclosures where like upper bridges between the higher structures are rickety as they might be. Um, it's, it's almost a dizzying, aging M.C. Escher painting at times, how everything kind of like overlaps and is, parts have fallen and kind of caught the other towers and kind of been held there with a slight angle. Uh, it's, it's oddly beautiful in its alien presentation. Um, but following your yeah, I'm ping. Hold, I'm holding my coin and it's sort of like <coughs> turning in the direction we're supposed to go. Uh, there are also a number of other small troops of Rylorn and Imperium interests walking the streets, keeping eyes out on patrol. Uh, you, now that you know <laughs> uh, what you're looking for and you're keeping your presence uh, intentional as it is, you manage to skirt past a few of them and as they take note, they do not pay any particular interest to you and let you continue your path forward um, until eventually you come to the outskirts of one, what looks like a mercantile district. As opposed to most of the simple abodes and kind of clusters of, of colorless stone buildings and hovels and tents that are all kind of clustered together, here you can see manner of color and decor. There are more of these lanterns hanging in like beautiful different shades of like tinted glass that hang in clusters of baubles, some that kind of uh, are deep cerulean blue, others that have shades of red behind them. You can see there are strips of material that have been dyed different colors that point to different buildings. It looks like there are like clothing uh, uh, boutiques. Boutiques in the sense of still look a little ramshackle, mm -hmm. but there are uh, nicer little, little things you could purchase as a gift oh. or as a okay. bit of home decor. You can see there is what looks to be like a dyeing facility with like different tubs of dye that are arranged in kind of an opening area. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, where you go to dye. Yeah. Um, the culture here is very specific. Yeah. Um, <laughs> called, I'll get you someday. It's just dye already. Uh -huh. Except with a Y. You can see there are uh, some of these have almost like like chimney like. Uh, Exhausts that rise and spiral upward, with only bits of kind of dark smoke that kind of pillow out in long threads. Uh, following FCG's uh, ping of his locate creature spell, you come to the outside of what looks like a massive clay kiln, uh, and embedded in the base of it is a kind of donut shaped stone structure that's built around the base of this kiln. Um, here is like from the strongest bit of black smoke that drifts up and gets carried away with the wind that presses down over the mountain range and through this valley. Uh, but there you see, uh, in the f this is the first time you've really kind of taken a moment to appreciate the written font of a lot of the language here. A lot of it is common and broken other Xandrian languages, mm. but everything has this kind of oddly carved, like the memory 
of a handwriting. Like in looking places. at writing in dreams? Kind of, yeah. Mm. Um, and it takes you a minute to focus on enough to see the jagged edge. And all throughout the building's entryway, there's an arch of broken and pointed bits of glass that have been like wedged into the stone archway entrance. It looks dangerous at first, but as you approach, you can see the tips have all been kind of rounded off to ensure that it might catch you, but it won't cut you. Hmm. Um, on the inside, you could hear the clanging of metal uh, upon metal and other materials, like a, a workshop that's hmm. hard at work. Do we see Jado? Uh, as you step inside, uh, the smell catches you immediately. There, uh, smell and temperature. It is it is very warm in here. Uh, the affixed massive kiln that works here uh, is still bl is definitely blazing, and the windows are open to kind of try and let as much air flow through as possible. Um, you can see there are all manner of uh, kind of uh, unique chains. That's some kind of weird rusted metal that you saw the Shrikes using. Uh, looks like they've been repurposed. Some of them kind of come to a rust crumble. But ones that do function have hooks on them, and you can see there are like partially finished projects that are hung. Uh, some of them look to be um, dishware. Some of them look to be uh, decoration. Some of those more unique-looking uh, lanterns that you saw hung in the tower that glowed when you entered. Uh, the same same material. Um, you can see there's a pile of broken shards of kind of blue-green glass where certain. Projects didn't quite make it the process as it happens when working with glass, um, but also all manner of weapons, like long scimitars made of intricately sharpened glass, like an obsidian flecked edge. Um, you can see spear edges and almost like uh, falchions and uh, glaives made of the same material. There is definitely a weaponsmithing portion of this business. Um, you also see. Occasionally, little knickknacks. You see a small, like multi piece glass blown in shaped uh, ukor, like all its tiny little horns all around it. You see above on the shelf uh, what looks to be a beautiful rendition of a dancing Rhyloran with its arms out as it's kind of flying in the air, very Peter Pan esque in its presentation with a uh, the, the clouded kind of green-blue glass making the form of its body and the rest of it kind of cleared out slightly to kind of help it look like it's aloft. There's a unique mixture of artistry and weaponry across the interior. And on the far back, you see sitting at the workshop table and kind of hitting with uh, tiny instruments, kind of chipping away at a project, a uh, tall, rotund-looking uh, male fuzzy creature. Not unlike the uh, kind of fang and tusk-toothed uh, creatures that you encountered at the nearby mountain range, um, this one's hair is stark white at this point, point. Um, and you get a sense of, of age and, and maturity about them. Uh, they have a heavy set of goggles that have like layer upon layer of uh, extended-looking lens to this tiny fine point. And you see them kind of chipping away at this tiny little piece of something. Uh, as you begin to step in, the voice rings out, I'll be with you just a moment. Please be patient. Finishing this one project. Don't be loud. I hit loud noises. <laughs> and immediately throws it across the room and it on the wall. My apologies. Uh, sometimes that's how that works. Hello. <laughs> Uh, what can we do for the Imperium? Jado? Yes. Hi. We are of the Vanguard. We're looking for a contract. Of course. Um. Curious array of Vanguard. Mm -hmm. But the contract can be arranged. Um. Be patient, just a moment. Uh, can, can I get an inside, inside check? check? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'll you do may. that too. Does Both he, of you make inside checks. Is he looking like. He's going to go pull an alarm? Uh, yeah, we, actually. Are we, we're not walking into a trap, are we? That's what I'm I got a natural 20. Oh! I probably won't get as good as that. Ooh, I gotta, wait, what am I looking for? What did I say? Inside, inside check. <laughs> what, 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 animal handling. <laughs> go! 17. Okay. Not a natural 20, but. Ooh, I get whispers. Ooh. Someone is. What if I get with too? You both get <gasps> <gasps> oh, 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 oh,
Bubble cup. Uh, Not this cup action. So dirty. It is kind of dirty. Yeah. <laughs> some ASMR shit going that on over there. I I don't I like, know. I don't oh, I don't feel How do you get his tongue in both of them? He's very talented. <laughs> bisected surgery I got in <laughs> high school. Um, begins, I see Chetney go for his weapon and I stop him. I say, it's okay. It's okay. Did Chetney do that? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just Chetney would do that. It's okay. I don't have any beef with Clay. I'm a fucking werewolf. <laughs> um, you watch as Jado kind of keep watching you all and kind of giving a, taking stock of these strange arrivals, kind of wipe his hands, uh, take his work apron off and set it there, and then walk through a uh, heavy curtain that goes beyond the kiln in the back of the chamber to like another room that's still kind of on the outside of the massive smokestack. You wait one minute, two minutes. Almost five minutes go by before uh, the curtain pulls apart, and you see a Rhyloran Shrike. You see that elongated, thin, almost like lizard predator body of the extension, the exaggeration of the standard Rhyloran step through. Um, she has dark green marble set-like eyes with what looks to be one big carved mark, like a giant C that's carved around the outside of the eye that comes in towards the edge of the mouth. Um, as she steps out, uh, she kind of throws a bit of a jacket over and steps into the chamber. You can see she has a natural hunch to her form. Uh, but still standing tall is taller than any of you. Uh, looks back, Jado hasn't arrived yet, or hasn't returned, because. So, you have my attention. You said you needed a contract, yes. Is this Zesh? Do I recognize the voice? This is Zesh. Nice to see you in person. Indeed. You wear a deceptive attire. I guess that's through the streets. Indeed, astute. I like that. It shows promise. Uh, she goes ahead and like moves her hand like this, and the curtain behind you <laughs> closes, uh, and the room comes darker. What is your business here in Gravirus? Do you need help smuggling things in, out? What do you want? Well, <laughs> I guess, in a sense, we want to help the Resistance. It's an interesting point in there. She's not using her mind to talk to you. Mm. She's speaking with her mouth, much like the children did earlier. Hmm. Are you not connected to the hive mind? Is that only reserved for the Imperium? It's not about being connected to a hive mind, but I live amongst many people with different gifts. It's best we all live at the same level. Hmm. And you're part of the Volition? I am not part of the Volition. But you're not with the Imperium. Who are you with? You see her like take a step back towards the curtain she entered from. Just kind of putting her hand up towards the wall. Put it on the, put just, just, we're just, it's time to put everything on the fucking table. Like bodies? <laughs> well, eventually, we, we're from Exandria. We are attempting to stop the fucking insanity going on. We are supposed to come here and figure out what the hell this is, what this place is, who is trying to awaken 
the one who sleeps. We are just trying to figure out how to stop this. This is true. I have no problem with Ra Lawrence or anyone on route is coming down to Exandria. That's not what we're here to stop. It's it's lewdness. It's the dreamers that have come here that shouldn't be. Make persuasion check with advantage Ooh. between the two of you. Oh. Uh, 28. Mm. 28. You see their hand was going up towards something behind the curtain, and it stops. Oh, that's... No, yeah, 28? <laughs> Sorry, 13 plus 15 is 28, yes? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Your math is sound. Okay. The hand pulls back. Then perhaps we are not on the opposite sides of this conflict. Well, you've come to my place of business. This is not a safe space to talk. Nor am I really a member of the Volition. I just align with their cause and help where I can. But I can perhaps show you where you can find them. It's where we can hide for a little bit. The lay of the land is the primary thing we've come here for. The Volition, you see like as you're talking, she's constantly checking the windows, checking the door, like there's a definitive paranoia kind of in the space here. <clears throat> the Volition has to move past houses once every few weeks. It's not safe to keep it all in one location. They signal their current Pass house by a certain color, a particular color. And she kind of walks across the room behind an area where there's a couple of boxes. She opens one up and pulls out all these like swatches of color, and then pulls one that's like a deep royal purple, like brilliantly vibrant, freshly dyed, unscarred by the dust and the sunlight. And tosses it over. Catch it in the air. And bring it to me. It is hard to find, but you'll need a vantage point. Someplace high. I recommend the overspoke. The highest tower point in the banners. Now they cycle through various watchmen in the overspoke tower. There's one that works, they're named Erot. He's not with the Volition, he's not with the Imperium. He's in it for personal gain and to remain on the side of whoever wins. So, you go in with some interesting presence and a convincing argument. He's not against taking a break at the right time. He usually works um, right around dusk, so you have a few hours. Look for that color. That'll guide you to where to find them. Any other questions? I like this shop. You all take uh, metal, gold, platinum, copper. Amex. <laughs> Everywhere. Whatever resources are useful in our crafts we do for trade, yes. Just throw up the hammer. I come back. We saw some weapons. Some of the guards were holding some weapons that had sort of a glass tip or something like that. Is that is that something you make? Once upon a time, yes. We've had a few of our business arrangements with the Imperium canceled in recent years. I don't build them, but I've built pieces. Mm. I'm not a maker of weapons. That's Jado's preference. Me, I, I don't do that anymore. 
do those do those weapons just you know poke and pierce and shoot or do they conduct magical energy they tend to pull latent powers from the charged atmosphere and focus them on a target before them in like a beam of badness ever seen the flashing in the storms as they roll through yeah Good to know. Thank you. Any, any advice for getting to where we are without getting caught? We uh, yeah. have been causing a couple commotions. Well, the fact that you've come this far tells me that you seem to be quite adept at figuring that out. Yeah. We can't stay here. No. And we have a couple hours till we find a rot, so we need to lay low somewhere else. Give me a moment. And she steps out of the room, back from where she came. You hear a bit of like muffled, heated conversation. Eventually, Jado emerges. <sighs> Only Clark. a short time. You cannot stay here. I don't know you. You have no business. I'm taking a walk. And Jado like kind of exits out in a bit One of a. One question, and I'll drop a bag of gold and just let it <laughs> across the floor. The scythe with the gold with the glass blade. Does gold do anything for you here? It is a rare material, yes, but it's more about the. Well, what do you want me to do with it? I was going to offer it in exchange for the scythe. Sure. And again, scooping up the pile of what you dropped. How many? How much gold? Three hundred gold. Three hundred gold. Scoops it up. Looks over and sets it over into a uh, a small little kind of stone carved alcove, and then shifts it into the kiln, where the gold's going to be melted down into ingots. Sweet. Love that. How much for the little dancer? Oh, that you will have to uh, have to talk to Sesh. But I need to go. Can and I, can I just, just, as they walk away, just can I just more. check if it's the same person? I know it's got it, but <laughs> they're never they in the same, same room they together. Have the same gait or anything? Any similarities? Are they wearing glasses? <laughs> no. Okay. Jado leaves and heads off into the kind of afternoon light. Uh, but Zesh comes in again. Did, did we see Jado run all the way around to the back? Make a perception check. <laughs> Four. Mm, 16. You glance out the window and you see Jado like walking oh, away okay. as Zesh is in the chamber. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> you can stay in the basement for the next hour or so maximum. Excellent. When Jado returns, you have to have already vacated. You being here puts everything in danger, yeah. but strange times and fellows in bed and all that. I think you could make a mood ring with glass, like a something that shows. I could probably make something like that, yeah. I don't know how you'd connect it to me, but. Yeah, you're just like a little jewel. Maybe it can be in your chest where the coin used to be. That's interesting. Yeah. About this, this size? I'll come back for it. Well, I have an hour. I can get some work done while you wait. How much for the little dancer? Hmm. It gives like a really intense look at you, your eyes. Make a persuasion check. I have advantage. Do you Jackie, though? I should have rolled advantage on the other one. Persuasion check? Mm -hmm. Okay. 21. 21. <sighs> it's 
It's not for sale. But you can have it. But if that ever shows up in any of your business, and the Imperium manages to get its hands on that, that connects me to you. I'll disavow any knowledge, and I will have to give them what information I know about you if they come asking. So it'll do you much good to keep it hidden. They will find it. Good. Now, I'll work on your ring. Yeah. There is a, a pit with a ladder beyond that curtain. Stay there. Sounds homey. Anything. And Matt, you said that this doll was carved out of the same glass as the weapons, the same like crystalline. Correct, with some like impurities intentionally laid into it to kind of change some of the opacity and color. It says sharper image on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we take a short <laughs> rest? Yes. My God. Yeah, we should. I'm gonna use that to attune to my. Oh, thank God. Maybe uh, chat this. Weird box. We should look at it. Is it gonna slice my hand off if I open it? It's in the box. It's in the. It's in the pit. It's in the pit. We should do it in the pit so yeah. that it doesn't. That was the intention. Not going down the ladder. Should we take a short rest? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Can I check the box for? You can go make an investigation check. Now, interesting point of order. The construction of this box, now that you take a look at it, there's something familiar about it. Mm. What'd you roll? Five. 25. Uh, there are some Vanguard containers you had previously encountered that were under the hold of Paragon's Call. Cerberus. Yes. That were serving. Oh. You do not see the symbol emblazoned on it. But the construction of it seems pretty similar. Oh shit! Uh, also, there does appear to be a magical lock on the device, one that will react rather violently should it be tampered with incorrectly. You may want to save this for later. No way! Now is the time. Can we get it open? No. Can we dispel? Got anybody have to spell? I think an explosion here would go very poorly. Yeah. Right. So we could do it inside a hole. I don't have to spell. But if an explosion inside the hole would still explode the hole, it might ruin the whole thing. Is that where? Is that how I that works? I think so. Yeah, I mean, it's not in destruction. It would ruin the other contents if there's anything of value in there. Um, and probably really fuck up whoever's in there pretty, pretty badly. Can you counter spell a trap spell? No, no. counter spells specific against spells that are being cast in the moment. Yeah. For magical enchantments and magical traps, dispel magic and other like-minded effects are the preferred use. I kind of agree. I don't know if this is the time. Mm. Specific. You don't have any like acid, anything that could eat a hole in it. You know, let's, this is definitely not for right now. This is for when we are not underneath somebody's home. Mm. I think we've caused enough civilian damage for. 24 hour pitting period at this point. I will take out the little tiny dancer, though. FCG, <laughs> what do you think? You think you can get a little bit more information on this substance? I sure could tomorrow. All right. I'll also say, uh, well, I mean, I can, well, let's see here. You don't have to right now. Okay. Chet, you got that? Uh, you got that? That glass thing? Do you think you can see if any of the any of the things we just picked up in the pit are magical or the things we picked up? The people? We did just throw a bunch of semi-important, dangerous people into a giant pit. I'm regaining a fifth level. Sure, I'll put the monocle of true essence on and look at all the things in the pit. With the tech match. Mm. Okay. Uh, in looking across it, other than the things you already have that are magical in there, the attire of the Rylorans and the entities you put in there appear to be non magical in nature. 
Not much. No, the How's everyone done. holding up? After a short rest, fine. Yeah. Tired. Still. Yeah. Oh yeah, should I? Is that how you mean? Mean? Should I restore you? It'll no, work. I'm at more um, mentally. Oh. Tired. Checking in. Yeah. That's so sweet. I mean, this is this is all pretty strange and stressful. So far, pulling off what we came to do, though. That's got to count for something. Yeah. I've been, I've been wondering about Frida lately. Have you if checked out okay. No, I can't. I can't. Well, maybe once we get back, uh, sending, sending was working. Works, yeah. Speaking of, why was it working? What did we do? What happened here? Did we do anything, or is it know. just I, fading, or? or maybe Ludinus is doing something. Makes me nervous. Maybe it's stronger some places than others. Oh, yes, yeah. Treasury Scribal. Look, at, there's been a little bit of movement They're closer to the center of the city. I have an I'm idea. I'm just gonna take it and leave it out, kind of. Okay. I have an idea <laughs> to open the box, but I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze. What's the thought? Letters you the uh, other day when you were with Odahan, you said that you poofed off somewhere else. I did? Yeah. Could you take some of the witches to that place and have you guys distantly open the box in another place so that all the damage and sound and trouble happens there? It's interesting. I don't know if I have any way to do it from a distance. I also just wouldn't want to explode the contents on the inside. Right. Um, Fern has something that can work at a distance. Yeah, yeah I could try. I've seen what her undo traps. Maybe like a mage mm -hmm. situation? You have thieves tools. Yeah. Yeah. From a distance, yeah. 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 I have thieves tools also. I have thieves tools, yeah, I have We gotta be real careful with this thing, and I don't know if this is the place for it. Go try to open it. Well, it's not. We'd be in another the astral sea, my realm be. of existence. That's bad shit, I'm not gonna say no. And this lock looks like it can be picked with thieves tools? It can be. It just looks like the difficulty has been vastly improved at the presence of this arcane lock enchantment and, and a failure could Looks be. like something's going to happen. Right. Otherwise, we're waiting on somebody else to do it for us, right? <laughs> or at least <laughs> waiting on being it's somewhere me. where we are not going to get in trouble <laughs> if everything right. goes. These. Dispelling the magic would help a ton. Yeah, we need to dispel the magic. Do we? None of us have dispel. No. I could probably get it tomorrow. I yeah, then let's wait. Then let's wait for that. Yeah. Let me look. Do I have that spell? I clear it. Sure, rarely I yeah, it's on the list. You just have to memorize it at the beginning yeah, of the day. Let's do that then. Detect, detect. Dispel. Great. Then we wait. Yep. If we get to the end of the day and you still have something left over, then I will happily take something. Gotcha. This is not pleasant. Okay. How long have we been up and moving now at this point? Well, we're waiting until sundown. Right, which is a few hours from now. They said we had an, an hour-ish hour down chill. here, which is a short rest of time. Also, we heard that the Imperium's doing to, the, the coming move. They're moving. To, to, to the Blue Promise. That, yeah. That's yeah. the move to, to Exandria, right? <laughs> to ur Exandria. <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's, a, it's a country. Accent thing. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Alexandria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a ring. All right, before the, I mean, after the short rest is over, I'm going to ritually cast <laughs> Telepathic Bond. There you go. Telepathic Bond. Are All we right. going to go uh, break into this tower? I guess. So I think well, we're, we're trying to bribing bribing someone at the tower. Yeah. Oh yeah, With he said presents. bring presents. What do we got? Oh yeah, what can Worthwhile. we bring? Worthwhile, anything in the hole? Can we at least look through the juggernaut's pockets or something? Sure. I've got a behemoth finger. 
Yeah. Just Again, I have some that leftover would work goodberries on you. that seem to yeah, be yeah, yeah. They some like fruit. food. So I have. Do any of us have fruit from from home? <gasps> what if you'd make baked goods? I could. I could bake. I could bake. They probably never like had it. Baked. never had it. Baked goods. That might be worth. Uh, Maybe you could bake something with goodberries. I've been. Working on a new some scones yeah. piece. Goodberry scones. Goodberry scones. GM, I have a question. Hey, what do you have? I have. He's been working on a new thing. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. sorry. Uh, I can make flowers. I can make little tendrils and things. Can I make blueberries and the like? I'd say you could probably make a handful of them. Yeah. Just they won't have any effect, but they're just sure. But for uh, Bormoda, who's dying to eat a strawberry, I could. Provide a strawberry. Probably. Good to know. Very good to know. Very good. I'll, I'll what were you going to say then? Hmm? You gonna uh, say? I've been working on a new, um, a new toy. Like a, ah, a toy or like a no? It's like Hand a walking horse that goes sideways now too. No. Forty-eight more minutes. You want to tell us about it? No. Oh. <laughs> but I have a feeling anyone that. Gets to see it would be quite taken with it. Uh, I like hey. this plan. Do we need to give a little bit of room for the artiste? What? You need do anything you need to space? do your stupid work? <laughs> <laughs> do you need space? Do you need indiscretion? I said I've been working on a piece. It's done. Oh, oh. oh. Said you finished it. Now it was sounded like it was a process. Well, art is never done. Wow, that's rough. It's mm. a bad culture. So it's you... fine. It's done. <laughs> yes. Do you want to show us? You don't want to see it. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Why? What happens when you see it? You die. Is that true? Inside <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe. I mean, I can show everybody. Anything show me. If you want. Show me. And actually, just you know. be a solo yeah. mission after that, which I'm okay with. <laughs> I'm very I'm a about this yeah, toy. Just... Get rid of a lot of baggage. You've been so trustworthy. I completely trust you. Thank you. Yeah. I know. I kind of want to see what happens on the day, as mm -hmm. they say. <laughs> no, it's just a toy. What could go wrong? There's no such thing as just a toy. Mm. Taught us that. That rocking horse was really great that you gave to those kids. I got a lot of those. I got them like jacks, just ready to throw out. Some people got caltrops. I got rocking horses. Really? Just like a hundred Statue of Liberties. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. tucked away. <laughs> it was a very tucked sweet away. thing, though. <laughs> I don't think those kids might not have ever had a toy in their life, at least not like that. It's very kind. You're it very happens. good with children. Also Almost a like a fatherly people. instinct took over. Got enough practice. Rare in a couple of ways. There's very little wood here. You know, it does. I'm seeing those kids. It seems like there's a decent amount of um, disparity between yeah. the different classes. I very meant young. what I said. It, I, I feel like. A lot of people here would have a better life if maybe they were allowed to come to Exandria. They've never seen trees. They've never seen green like that. It's the Talent Highlands are just so beautiful. Uh, Devil's Advocate, it's very beautiful here. Sure. I think their problem is uh, someone standing on their neck more than the landscape. I don't know, I think I have four pounds of dust and sand in my eye holes. Your beautiful eye holes. I'm <laughs> so just like dig out Goop. of massive <laughs> fucking rocks. <laughs> rocks out of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just squeeze my eye a little bit. <laughs> No, I, I agree. I, I think helping them would be a great boon to the end of all of this. Plus, I don't want to, you know, this is probably going to sound a little cold, and, but it's the truth. 
when there is an imbalance and injustices in a system, it can topple much easier if we can rally those who have been stepped on. Well, I think that's why the volition is probably in this area, you know? Let's just remember we are here as guests. We don't know the lay of the land. We don't know what anything means. We don't know these people. We are going to follow the people who have already figured out what they need. They know that they don't want this in here. We can help them get it out. We're not guests, Ashton. We're infiltrating. Right now, we are guests in a hole beneath a floor. We cannot infiltrate. That would require us to be subtle. Well, we've got to infiltrate. We Otherwise, all this mission is for nothing. We have to learn. We have to pay attention. That's all I'm saying. It's too easy to get... It's too easy to make assumptions. Well, that's why we're here. That's exactly why we're here. And I think we're doing it. To that end, not saying we're gonna get caught again, because we are smooth. So smooth, I look oh. at the trashy scribble. Looks like she's moved a little bit, kind of towards the core of the city, still a ways away from you. Just a little bit. It might not be the worst thing in the world if some of us got captured. I'm just saying, in case it comes down to throwing down again or causing more of a ruckus or bringing undue attention and everything, if we've got this mental link, we have ways of tracking each other and talking. No. Going inside might not be the worst thing. This mental link lasts for an hour. Is the only thing. Sure. But people talk when they're not paying attention to someone that's on the inside. It's true. Yeah. I would say I think it makes sense for some of us to get captured. I don't know. That's hard. I don't want to know what they would do if Imogen got captured. Oh, God. I can't think of that ever working out for me. Getting captured? S especially splitting up and getting captured. Well, let's just call it out then. I'm kind of volunteering. That could be a distraction in a worst case scenario, just in case we get in there. I can't, I could too. Yeah. I could too. There are some of us are just the teeniest bit Expendable is a really shitty word, but let's call it malleable. Yeah, okay. I think I can be a part of team malleable. Yeah, we're, we're real flexible. Options. Thank you. Options. I it's, a good, it's a good thing to, ki to, 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 to keep an open mind about. It's about I don't this hate point. that idea. In your mind, Imogen. Oh! What, yeah. what, 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 what? Quiet. No one move. You hear the shifting of, it's like a rug or a carpet over the top of the entryway that you're all in. You can just barely hear the sound of about a half dozen footsteps slowly begin to enter. Half dozen? How, how big is the, is hole the space? Is the hole open in the basement? Uh, well, you're in, it's, a, it's another kind of like a, it looks like it might be a storage space, but it's been completely emptied out. It's just just an open pit that's like 15 by 20 feet that kind of goes underneath the shop to a certain extent. You're flipping the neighborhood. But you can just barely hear the footsteps above. Darkness. And silence. You're casting darkness? In the room. On us, so you can't see anything. The pit around you is now suffused in absolute shadow. Oh my god, I can't see. All you have is the sound of footsteps in silence. That's what we're gonna pick up next episode. Oh. 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 <clears throat> Ooh. We'll see what goes on from here, but we got mm. some leads going towards the Volition. We're in the middle of Kravirus, or at least to the uh, we got some good info. We got good info. We're getting fruitful. good shit. It's fruitful. Okay, Luma Kraviras. But nevertheless, that concludes our evening. Thank you all so much for joining us. We love you very much, and it's a Thursday. <laughs>